I like how so why is it like that? Oh, that's so weird. Okay. All right. Yep, I think we're live. I'm just going to give it like a minute and pretty much get things started here. There's nothing else I could really do on this page, right? Okay. Yeah, I guess I may as well just add that for now. Copy? Oh, cool. We can actually copy them. That's pretty cool. Okay. All right. Oh, boy. All right. Welcome, everybody. I guess this is a uh, good good as time to start as any. Uh, welcome to the start of my Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. We are not exactly starting right this moment. Um, I'm just going to, like, go over, like, I guess some of the rules and some of the placements that I have in place for this. Um, there are, like main rules that come along with the Nuzlocke. Um, let me just read them for you as I uh, actually open up a new window to get that started for you. I know the rules offhand, but just so that we can read exactly like what the rules are verbatim. So that way everyone knows clearly as to what exactly a Nuzlocke is. Um, so let's see. Um, yeah, so there are core rules. Um, yeah, let me just go along with those. So Nuzlocke, I think, was created by like a uh, speedrunner or something like that. Uh, let me just see. It actually has the origins in the name. Uh, the name of challenge originates from the comic series of the same name, which features a Nuzlocke, uh, or Nuzleaf, excuse me, resembling Lost from uh, from a character. Oh, okay. So it was a character in Lost. Oh, okay. I didn't actually know about that. It was, like, from a show. Cool. Well, it's from that. <laughs> and uh, the, the rules are, if no one really has seen a Nuzlocke before, there are certain rules with it. Um, so any character, the main one, any Pokemon that faints is considered dead on our party. So no matter what happens, if we're fighting a wild Pokemon, if we're fighting a trainer, Elite Four, uh, rival, doesn't matter. If any one of our Pokemon die at any point, uh, they are considered dead, and we have to either release them or just put into like the PC in like a dead center or something like that. Um, I think I'm just gonna like put them into the PC so that way we can like see like who had died at the end, and then we could just go over that. I do have this, as you can see on your screen, this is like a Nuzlocke tracker. Uh, we'll go over that um, as I go over the rules here. Uh, so that's the biggest thing. Uh, Any one of our Pokemon die at all, they're just gone, and we got to put them away and never use them again. That also means that we can't ever, like, use a revive or put them at the Pokemon Center. They are You cannot use them any further after that. Uh, so that's the biggest one. Um, so th there is another rule to where... Uh, once we go into a new route or we go into a new city, if that Pokemon, you know, if they actually have Pokemon in that city, uh, the very first Pokemon that we see that is catchable or retrievable, uh, because in this game you can get Pokemon in different ways other than just catching. You can do trades, you can do other stuff. Um, any first Pokemon we see, we must catch it, and we can't catch any other Pokemon. So if we accidentally kill something on, like, the first route, too bad. We can't get it again. Um, I won't make this pseudo rule. It's like... Uh, I, it's not necessarily like part of the core rules, but I'm just going to make it a rule for myself. Uh, at the beginning of Pokemon um, Gen 1, you actually don't get a chance to start catching Pokemon until you deliver the Oak Parcel back to Oak. So we're going to start the Nuzlocke route for that, you know, catching on all the rules to apply. Basically right after we give it to Oak and we receive the Pokedex and all that shit. So once we are actually like starting to go out into the place, then we'll start, you know, actually implementing the rules. Um, we can technically lose and die to our first match. We, that can happen. You can get crits and just there's nothing you can do about that. But I'm not going to count that as like a full loss or anything because, you know, you have nothing aside from maybe like a potion. But uh, that's the other pseudo role that I'm going to add into later. So I'll get into that. Um, we're also going to like, I guess, I guess as far as like the rules here, we're going to be nicknaming our Pokemon. So how I'm going to be doing that is I'm going to be nicknaming all of our Pokemon through our subscribers and after once we reach to a certain point, we're going to start doing um, basically the more common people that show up. So subs are going to um, get first pick pretty much. I already downloaded my sub count. 
So pretty much if you've subbed at this point, you will be a Pokemon. And then the more, um, I guess, regulars after that will be uh, added later. So I do have the list there. And then once we like meet to that list, then I'll just start going by, you know, some other people that aren't necessarily subscribed right now. But basically just whoever is more on the regular will get added. So we'll see as to like who gets put in first and all that. You'll, you'll see how that works. And I already hear that shit going off. <laughs> it's a little bit too late uh, for Mel, but I think that he's already added um, into that subscribe count. Let me just confirm that. Uh, is Mel in here? Yeah, you are. Okay, so you're going to be a Pokemon soon. Uh, but I'm not sure which one yet. <laughs> but what's up, Mel? I'm just going over the rules as we um, you know get everything set off. Yeah, you can't believe Charmander didn't win? Hey, fuck that fire lizard, bro. <laughs> I never, I I like Charmander, I do, but I feel like he's super overrated. Uh, I much prefer Charmander over Charizard or Charmeleon. I love that design in comparison to the other two. Um, as far as like the other two starters, I have always been a grass starter just because of how we grew up. Um, I'm the middle child when it is uh, three brothers. So every single like, every single time that we had a new generation, I would always pick the grass starter. Um, so I had Bulbasaur, I had Chikorita, and of course, my favorite Pokemon of all time, Trico. Uh, so I actually got uh, kind of lucky right when I stopped playing uh, Pokemon. But either way, that's neither here or there. Uh, the winner of... I'm going to go into that too. Uh, we did have a winner, and I showed it up on Discord uh, as to who won on the Twitter poll. So we'll, we will be going over who that is. Um, so those are the, like the, the main rules. We're going to have the nicknames on every Pokemon. We're going to have um, any Pokemon that dies are or faints is considered dead. Uh, also, the other rule is if we white out um, after the first trainer battle that is just forced, sometimes you just lose. If we white out at any point, we lose the game. We lose the run. So if even though we may have Pokemon in our bank, if we just so happen to like somehow get fucked um, within a battle, we're just going to die. We're going to lose the run. So that's another hard rule we're going to have put in place. Uh, here's other pseudo rules that aren't necessarily like real mandatory but i will implement them into our nuzlocke run um no repels i will not be using any form of i must get out of this place immediately that includes escape ropes i can't use escape ropes um i'm gonna have like as many times i can go into a pokemon center that's i'm not gonna put a rule against that because it has been so long since i have played a pokemon game so i'm just gonna not really put an implement on that but you can limit how many times you go to a pokemon center if you want to but i'm not gonna do that here uh, the other one we're going to be doing is, um, yeah, no repels. And also, um, we're going to have no items during battles. We can use items afterwards, um, like potions, super potions, full heals, all that stuff. Uh, but during the actual run, during like an actual fight, I mean, we're not going to be having any items at all. So no X defense, no potions, no super potions, none of that shit. So basically, we're going in straight with our Pokemon and hope for the best. Um... And I think there's another rule that I was going to put in. I don't think I'm really missing anything. Um, yeah, there's no, there's nothing else that I could really, like, add to this. Um, no items during battles, all Pokemon catchable. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, that's the only thing that I can really think of. Uh, I don't think there's any other pseudo rules I want to add. So, uh, we will, of course, like I said, have the subscribers be uh, first come, first serve as uh, the Pokemon here. So, I already have everybody's list. Uh, just so that we can make sure that everyone knows the following who will be added as our first Pokemon. I think it's like 22 of us, like 22 of you guys in here. So, Zeo is going to be a Pokemon, Ontarioso, Hardisass, Mel, Lena the Troll, Salty, Dragon, uh, Suspenser, Liberal. Yes, I did see you earlier. You will be a Pokemon. Eccentric, CP3, Rosario, Lord Reto uh, Ratatosk, uh, Lil Monix, DZ, Lost and Confused, Only in the Rain, uh, MS Paint, uh, no Truth, Kanegarkar, Kanegarkar, I'm, that's a long name, I'm, <laughs> Kanegugar, Kanegurar, whatever, uh, Direct Jab and Sandrock, so you guys are guaranteed gonna be our first Pokemon, um, I think I'll just, like, go by who the, um, the ones that subscribe the most often, uh, so Zeo will be the first Pokemon, which he's basically gonna be our Squirtle, and then we'll move all the way down until we get to the last one, so that's how we're gonna be doing it from there, and then after we hit Sandrock, all the other Pokemon that we'll be naming is just, uh, either someone that's in the chat at the moment, or just someone that's a regular, just anything that kinda, like, comes up across the mind, like, uh, Julie Cat will probably be a Pokemon after that, so, you know, we'll, we'll get to, like, the more regulars after that. Um... 
yeah i mean i think that's really it honestly um i can't really remember like any other real rules or anything like that just that's what we're going to be starting with um so just so you can see like what this is um we're not going to have this tracker up all the time i'm just going to update it as we go so since we're going to be having our first pokemon basically be um squirtle you can see here we have our name here leaf green nuzlocke we also have our uh gym badges i don't exactly know how to like kind of change that here but i guess we'll just have to come across that bridge when we get to it um but as you can see right here we have uh the box so we have all of our pokemon that are going to be put into uh the pc uh that'll be in here we have our normal team that's going to be here it's going to be displayed right here um we're going to have our dead pokemon i mean i guess we don't really necessarily need to add to this i guess we could as we go along in case you don't want to like wait until the pc and then if we do win we'll have our pokemon champions and then we'll save it so uh, since we're going to be having Squirtle at the start, we may as well just like set this up so you can see in real time how it works. So we put in Squirtle. You can see his name. We're going to be putting in Zeo's name. So we're going to copy exactly what it says here. Um, uh, X Zeo Moon. Exactly like that. You can see that's his new name. Uh, he starts off at level 5. Not 54. <laughs> uh, he also is started at Pallet Town. And we also meet him at level 5. So that way people can just see like when, you know they started off at the time and we'll add to the levels you know i'm not going to do it every time that they level up i'm just going to do it like maybe like once an hour or like when a pokemon dies or when we get a new pokemon so we'll flip to this screen every you know every few bits so we're not going to have it all the time there i'm not going to add their moves i'm not going to that's too much shit to change and to go back and forth from just leave it at that you can see like who we're running with and then and more updated um level as we go along and you can see here right in the corner you got a little squirrel here, and then once we add more Pokemon, you'll see it uh, progress through here, too. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty much it. I got nothing else really to, uh, to say. Um, you're fire all the way, Mel. I mean, I guess so. I mean, my older brother was with more fire, but then he just started picking whatever he wanted. I will, of course, just be sticking with grass uh, pretty much for, like, all my normal runs, uh, except for, like, maybe, like, something like this where, you know, people pick for me. Um wonder who voted for the winner yeah i wonder right uh it was black and white oh Bre uh, my older brother really likes black and white i don't know which one he had but he says that that's a really good one but i don't know i haven't played any of them i've only played so my pokemon history is uh pokemon trading card game we played pokemon stadium one and two played a little bit of pokemon snap i guess but they're not really pokemon main games um main states are for me we had yellow um I also had Crystal, I had Emerald, so we had the first three generations. I skipped uh, the DS because I never had any DS at all, so I skipped Pearl and I skipped Black and White 1 and 2. Uh, went and picked up X, liked it, it was pretty good, uh, and then we did the remake of, um, what is it, uh, what is it, Fire Red, not Fire Red, well I guess th those count as separate ones. Uh, I did play Fire Red Leaf Green, which I play Leaf Green, that's why we're playing Leaf Green now. Um, I also played, I didn't play Heart Gold, Soul Silver. I didn't play any of those. Uh, but I did play, um, Omega, Omega Ruby Alpha, right? It's Alpha Sapphire, right? That shit. That's the one I played of the remake of, uh, Gen 3. And then I started playing Pokemon Moon, but I didn't get a chance to finish it. So that's pretty much all my, uh, <laughs> history as far as like the main state games. Um, and I also played, uh, Pokemon Coliseum, which was a really fucking fun game. It does have a sequel. I think it's like XD. We never actually got a chance to play that growing up, but that's pretty much my Pokemon history. Uh, I am a Gen 1-er at heart, but I still love uh, Pokemons from different uh, generations. Uh, my, Like I said, my favorite Pokemon is Trico, and then Haunter is another one of my favorites. Um, Sandslash is another one of my favorites. Dragonair is one of my... Oh, that's in top six, too. Uh, Beedrill. I love Beedrill. That's the homie. Um, yeah, there's a lot of like good shit that I like, but... They're not necessarily for, like, competition or anything like that. It's just shit that I like based on design and just what they look like and how they were in the show, too. That also is an influence. A lot of the shit comes from, like, my uh, just likes and dislikes of just design as a big front. So, um, yeah, I don't know what we're going to be getting. Uh, I was thinking of doing, like, a randomizer for, like, whatever Pokemon we just get at the start. We just get it. So, it, the three starters can, like, change and every single Pokemon that you fight can be changed uh, so instead of fighting Rattatas at the start, you could be fighting Ponytas or something like that. I was thinking of doing that, but I feel like the Nuzlocke in itself is already hard enough. Um, I didn't want to, like, add the randomizer, like, a little bit too late. So I just said, fuck it. We're just doing normal, and then 
like I said, my implemented rules too. So uh, I didn't add like a command or anything to explain the rules. It's just ask me if you do, if you don't remember uh, a rule or two. I don't mind repeating it because I just don't feel like adding a command. So, all right. Um, yeah, I think with that we're just right about getting to six o'clock. Let's just get the uh, let's just get this ball rolling, shall we? All right. So like I said, we're gonna be having the game basically be right up in front. Let me just make sure that shows up in your screen. Yep, comes up. Perfect. All right, I think I have all my settings uh, saved, so let's just jump right in. Oh, man. I'm a little nervous, but fuck it. I I'm a grown-ass man. I, kn I know how to do RPGs good now, so... Uh, all right, let's go. Let's start. I'll also be having, um, there's also this, uh, speeder, like, you can just kind of, like, put the game on, like, a faster time, so we'll be doing that as we go through, like, uh, grindy bits, um, while we're going through, like, different routes and all that, but once we're in trainer battles and gym leaders and all that stuff, we'll put it back to normal speed, so, as of right now, you're gonna be hearing, like, a lot of, uh, like, really awkward sounds, so, <laughs> if you listen to this beginning, it's gonna be really awkward, but just don't mind that for now, <laughs> we're just gonna skip all this shit as fast as we can. Yeah, so uh, we, we also got to have our nickname for our um, for our rival. I actually didn't think about that. Um, it's also kind of... Oh, it's kind of hard to like... Oh, oh, it's on speed mode. I got to like super tap it fast. Ugh. Okay, there you go. All right, that's me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, who do we have as our... Uh, yeah, who do we have as our rival? Um, give me a name. Someone give me a name. And I'll... Uh, First thing I see. First thing I see. I don't care who it is. Chad? Alright, you got it. We got Chad. Alright, Chad Chad Warden. <laughs> What's up, bitches? It's Chad Warden. I'm on this gay ass Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, Chad Warden, let's go. It's too Knight can't be both a Pokemon and Oh, you know what? Knight Knight CTA could have Ah, oh, it's too late. <laughs> we got Chad Warden instead. Okay. Alright, so, if you haven't played Gen 1, uh, basically as far as, like, you know, how the game starts, you're supposed to, like, go straight into the, uh, the woods here, and then you just get, Hey, stop, you're gonna get killed by these wild-ass animals. Uh, so Chad Warden here is like, man, that's my, th that's my grandpa, he's so cool, he got me the PS Trizzle, uh, but now I'm in this gay-ass Pokemon shit. <laughs> uh, na- oh, Napst Blo- Blooky Igathan. I'm gonna go with Napst, <laughs> just as to bring it short. Uh, what's up, Napst? Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, so let's let's get this uh, Pokemon thing started. We gotta name this uh, X Zeo Moon. So yeah, we gotta do it. Oop. How do you? What the hell is this? All right, get out of here. Uh, how do you do lowercase? There you go. All right, so X uh, Zeo. It's so hard. You know what? Just, just turn, turn it off for now as I put in this thing. Uh, also, like, if the name doesn't fit with, like, your uh, name or whatever, like, through Twitch, I'm just going to shorten it to, like, how I can make it work, you know? No hard feelings. It's just sometimes the, just, the shit just won't work, so. All right. I think I'm going to take this one, and that's my original starter, but that's fine. All right. <laughs> All right. Now that we got our first trainer battle. Like I said, if I lose here, it's not uh, game over. It's just sometimes you can just have this happen. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with naps then. I got you, bro. Don't worry, I played Pokemon once or twice, especially when I was a kid. So, honestly, I think that we got a better um, like starter as far as like how we get through these Nuzlocks. Um, that's just my opinion. I don't think that we really be we're doing well with Charizard, especially with um, Water and Rock at the start. This one's actually pretty decent. Um, I feel like overall we might do fine with Squirtle, so or Zeo. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to do a um, tail whip first and then just tackle away. I also just forgot to put, um, oh my god, really? Fucking hell. Don't crit. Cool. As long as we know, uh, I don't know if this is like a 100% um, accuracy move or anything like that. It should be. Tackle's pretty decent. I know that, oh god, really? Oh shit. Oh, come on, don't crit.
This isn't a good sign, is it? Wow, really, Zio? <sighs> that we're not even getting like a fucking level or anything at the start. Holy shit, that's so bad. Char Charmander wouldn't have lost. I don't know about that. He literally missed the last hit that would have won. Fucking hell. All right, back to warp speed. <laughs> So now the official uh, Nuzlocke begins. Not a really great start, so hopefully we don't get any uh, shit like that. Yeah, I, I actually kind of forgot that there was a potion at the start here. But it doesn't matter because we can't use potions during battles anyway, so wouldn't have been able to use it. Uh, okay, we have tips. All right, here we go. By the way, this, this uh, fight doesn't count as like our first catch or anything. Um, we're gonna be trying to like, we, we gotta get the, uh, what is it? The parcel or whatever, Oak's parcel, then bring it back to, uh, Oak, and then we'll be able to get, uh, Pokeballs. So this doesn't count as, like, not getting one for the route. We're just gonna, like, come back and then fix that later. So since I kind of, like, died, I may as well try and get, like, a level or two while we're waiting. That's just so bad, dude. Alright, so you're, I'm sorry, I just read that. Your, uh, your name is a combination of... Maps Bluke from a game called I don't remember what that is. It's been a while since I played um what is it? Uh oh Pidgey would actually be pretty good too for later. Uh it's been a while since I played um Undertale. I will be doing a um stream of it at some point. I just wanna like make sure that I try and have someone brand new to like play it with me. That's kinda what I want. But if I can't do that then you know I'll just have to play it on my own or something. Alright, so crit would be... I think I'm in crit range now. Okay, we're fine. Oh, shit. He actually could have missed. <laughs> I, I flew a little too close to the sun. And we got bubble. Cool. Alright. Now we can just go and grab this. We're gonna save. Make sure that we don't die. Oh, you know what? There's almost, like, no point in saving until, like, we actually finish up, like, for the day. <laughs> like, it sounds so awkward with, like, the, uh, the music, like, changing like that. By the way, let's also set our uh, speed to max. Oh, we're also... I forgot. This was another um, thing that we're going to be doing. Um, the game also has... Let me just... For the safe... For the fucking shit that's not so fast with the uh, music. We're going to have our battle style as set. What that means is uh, instead of like... Oh, you just killed like um, one of their Pokemon. Well, they're going to switch to Geodude. Do you want to switch? Instead of that happening, we don't get that option. They're just going to be immediately switching to the next Pokemon without us, like, knowing what they're going to be switching to. So we're going to have that as another pseudo rule. I actually forgot to mention that. So, all right, now we can put on the bad music. <laughs> all right, so we got Bubble. Um, until we can get this, uh, aren't there, like, a different item, like, just randomly here somewhere? I think there is, but no. I'm not going to waste too much time. I mean... It is faster, so that way it's better for you guys, too. Oh, fucker. What the fuck? Give me that. Thank you. I remember that he had a potion, too. Yo, what's up, Yoshi? Uh, the speed up reminds you of the Game Boy Tower and Stadium 2. I don't remember what that is, actually. It's been a while since I played the uh, Stadium games. I know we mainly play them for the mini games though. Oh, by the way, let me just check the Pokemon that we have. Let's see what Zeo actually is. Uh, it's an impish nature. Uh, I don't know anything about natures and all this other shit. Uh, I'm just going to pay attention to, like, our stats and stuff. So attack is um, 12, 15 defense, pretty good. Special attack is not all that. Special defense is pretty good, and our speed is okay. So I feel like that's fine. And its ability is torrent, which ups water moves in a pinch. So I think that means um, as it goes on, like, as your Pokemon, like, gets, like, weaker... I think that the bubble can just, like, get stronger at some point. I don't know exactly what that is, though, but... Whatever. Hopefully that's good. Uh, Napso book is a ghost one? The ghost one. Uh, I think... I, I have to, like, check it again. I, I don't exactly remember which one that is, unfortunately. Like I said, it's been a while. Oh, thanks for the Pokedex. Alright, now the Nuzlocke can officially begin. Fucking Zeo lost his... This is not a good sign. <laughs> Zeo fucked up the first match. So, like I said, hopefully the, uh, it gets better from here. Uh, it's the same speed as Dodrio. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I know that one then. Bad nature is bad for that mon. Is it? Oh, oh well. That's unfortunate. 
It's all good. All right, let's see what we get as our first Pokemon. Pidgey, okay, perfect. Let's be sure that we don't actually kill it. I also want to be sure that we don't actually faint ourselves, so. Hey, there you go, easy. All right, cool. Let's also slow it down a little bit. Yes, we'll be giving uh, Pidgey a nickname. The next one on our list is Ontarioso. So, um, O-N-T, uh, I hate this fucking shit here. Ontario-I-S. Oh, I'm sorry. There's an O between there. O-S-O. -O. It's actually perfect. Perfect. There you go. Alright, cool. Now let's put on a Pokey. Uh, not a Pokeball. Fucking po Wait, can't our mom heal us? Yeah, let's just make sure. I don't want to, like... I don't want to fuck up. <laughs> cool. Alright, so I'm gonna bring up uh, Pidgey for a little bit. I mean, I could just wait until we get our second Pokemon. Yeah, let's just wait until we get our second one. Jesus. <laughs> it sounds so bad, dude. Alright, good enough for me. And I just want to, like, see, like, what a crit damage would be at this level, but... I'm not really gonna, like, test it right now. I'm just gonna get straight to the next Pokemon Center. And Rattata's at this point don't have, um... Quick attack, I don't believe, so it should be fine. All right, there you go. And what did you get? Level eight? Cool. <laughs> this shit's so bad, dude. Okay. So now that we have this, let me slow this down and let's add the new Pokemon to our list here. So let's bring this up. Also, it should be uh, closing that. There you go. Okay. So now we got uh, a new Pokemon. How do we add? Shoot. There you go. So this one was uh, Pidgey, and we're going to nickname him uh, Ontarioso. There you go. He was level 3. I think it was a she, matter of fact, but right now for me, it doesn't really matter at this point. I'm at level 3. Okay, cool. So now Pidgey's there. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Bring this back up. I'm going to add the, uh, the levels as we get to a threshold that I feel more comfortable with before we move on to the Viridian Forest. So... Um, I think you should catch some useless Pokemon for free switches. That's a de that's a good strategy. Um, I don't feel like Pidgey is gonna be useless. I feel like it's gonna be really good for like early game. That's for sure. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep him around. I'm just gonna like switch the teams off as like we get more and then just feel for whatever situation we have, uh, and then move forward from there. So, um, God damn it, you suck. <laughs> I mean. Like I said, if, if this is a, a if this is gonna be as anything as bad as it could get, at least for right now, he just showed how bad he could possibly be. Okay, so now here's our um, Route 22 Pokemon. I think Mankeys and stuff can be here. If we get the same Pokemon, by the way, for Pidgey, we gotta run with it. Um, that's just how it is. A Spearow. All right. I guess that's kind of like counterintuitive with like two uh, flying types, but fine i guess that's cool oh you little fucker oh boy um how much was that eight? Oh, thank god oh wow we're really fucking bringing it close here all right cool so that was a spiro and looks like our buddy heart assass is gonna be spiro uh let's look at the case i should just capitalize them but whatever uh, heart, I, S, A, S. All right, heart, S, S, you are a Pidgey. Or not a Pidgey, a Spearow. You're all the same. <laughs> I categorize all flying types the same. Uh, let's go heal those fuckers, and then just try and do a little bit of levels from there for both, um... Actually, no. It's not good to, like, level them here. At least as far as, like, going over to the left. Um, I feel like it's better to go up here and then add that. Oh, I forgot we have the fucking old man, dude. Shit, I forgot about this game. Dude, I really actually want a fucking Weedle because I love Beedrill. If we could get that, oh, I would be fucking loving it. I can't believe he really lost the first match. <laughs> yeah, man, unfortunate that he just missed at the last second. So, already getting bodied. 
All right, so route two. Uh, let's see what we got. Rattata. All right, I was actually hoping for like a Nidoran, but it is what it is. And one more should do it. Okay, cool. Cool. <laughs> As I lie in there in defeat because we don't have a Nidoran. Okay, so next up. Hey, hey, guess who this is? Guess who this is? Hey, Mel, you get to be a Rattata today. <laughs> Malizi. Yes, siree. All right. Now we got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and now I'll add to the tracker as to uh, where we got them from and who we are. So just give me just a minute. We'll save. <laughs> Make sure that we got all the right ones. All right, so we got our four. Two flying, one normal rat, and uh, we got a water guy. So... Not a super great start, but it is what it is. Um, so let's lower that up and let's get this going. Okay, so now let's add another Pokemon. The next one we got was uh, Spiro. So let's put that in. And his nickname is, of course, uh, Hartis Sass. There we go. And I don't remember the level, so let me go check it out. I think it was level three? Oh, he was level 5. Oh, shit. Wow, he started at a really high level. I guess because it's like Route 22, it gets a little bit higher than Route 2, yeah? Okay, so let's put that in. Level 5. Uh, route 22. Well, not 21. 22. There you go. And he was at level 5. Then it was um, a Rattata. And that was... Malizi. And he was level 3, I think? I already forgot that one now. Level 3, yeah. Cool. And he was at route 2. Okay. Alright, so this is what we got right now. Uh, until we get to the Viridian Forest, we're going to be upping our... We could up them to like level 8, I guess, everybody. So we'll just get everyone at like an even slate for now. Oh, uh, there's... Oh, fucking hell, Zio. Hey, Zio, guess what? You may be the Squirtle, but you lost your first fucking match. God damn you. <laughs> you fucked it up. You fumbled. You literally had one hit. You had one hit, and you missed. I can't believe it. You ruined it. <laughs> but the first uh, trainer battle doesn't count as a death because it just happens that you can just lose. But you don't white out. So technically... Uh, we're still on it. So, not a great start, Zio. Hopefully, you could recover. <laughs> okay, let's save it, too, just in case something happens. I don't know. But either way, uh, how much money do we have? We probably don't have anything. Yeah. And we got 3K. You know what? We can get some more Pokeballs. Uh, we're gonna need, like, quite a bit. So, I'm gonna go and grab, like, six, just for now. Uh, let's go and get some... I guess three paralysis heal and an antidote. Get like four of them, I guess. And two extra potions, just in case. Like I said, we're not having any items during the run, but we will continue to use items afterwards. So. Yeah, you definitely need to get that ass bear right now after that fumble. That's for sure. Alright, so I'm gonna get Zio to about, um, like, eight and a half. Well, I guess eight now, and then I'll just switch between him and then, uh, the other Pokemon. Uh, so we'll switch. Let's get Ontario. So first, we're gonna try and up him a little bit. Uh, let's see. Tackle. Just, I wanna see the damage. Eh, not bad. Not bad, actually. I hope he doesn't attack. Ooh, that's half. Okay, yeah. We cannot have him, like, fight anything right now. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna switch him to, I guess, hardest ass? Oh my god. It's so hard to, like, try and move with this fast speed. <sighs> okay. Uh, yep, I guess we gotta go save. Oh my god, a crit. Fucking hell. Wow, alright. <laughs> the these guys pack a punch early. Uh, it might also be like their uh, defense and shit sucks, so. 
It's probably because I used your whole name. It's just no, it's not. We're using your whole names unless I can shorten them. So that's that's what we're doing. Can you do it? I I don't feel trustworthy of that. So oh my god, <laughs> so bad. And again, you fucking miss. <laughs> Stop missing, bro. Not missing, no, missing, bro. Uh, yeah, so let's switch back to Zeo. Should be able to. Oh my god. Oh, that's that my kill, actually. Don't fucking miss. Oh, thank god. Jesus Christ, what is happening with you? Why are you dying so fast? <laughs> what is going on? Fucking hell, you're killing me already this early. It was probably a bad omen to have him, like, start this off. But thank god we have this, like, speed up so we can just, like, get through these fights pretty bad. By the way, the Rattata outspeeds us, so... Ooh, sand attack. Nice. That's pretty good. <laughs> the music, dude. <laughs> Uh, we can do that. Fucking tackle, man. It's really not helping us out here. I'm not really trusting that, uh... I'm not really trusting that health right now. Alright, well, you could take three damage. That means that, uh... It would probably be, like, a crit of six. I can at least keep up with, uh... Zeo for a while. I really don't want to lose any Pokemon before we go to Viridian Forest. That'd be a really bad thing to start off, right? Alright, so now he's level 6. I don't remember when these Pokemon evolve or anything. Well, he's level 6 now, so... Oh my fucking god. Heart, get in there. Get in there, heart. What are they with these crits?! Oh my god, bro, stop! <laughs> There's so much crits going on. Oh shit, man. I am being super safe right now. You can't even handle Chad's lightweight. <laughs> you had Oak talking down on me, man. Facts! I never even seen that ever fail. And I guess good as time as any to see it during a Nuzlocke. Alright, so Ontarioso's getting to level 8. Uh, we'll, like, leave him at 8 and then just move on a little bit. Hopefully, I don't remember what level he can get Gust, but the faster we can get that, the better. Uh, still not level. Alright. Then we still gotta level up Heart, and then we gotta level up, um, Mel. Mel, I feel like it's gonna be the hardest because I think that Rattata's actually have, like, sh really shit defense. So, hopefully we can actually, like, have him survive, like, at least one hit. But at least it'll be a good gaugement as like what he can have um, as far as like taking hits. It's so weird hearing that. I know, man. If if you want to, I can lower the um, the audio if you guys want. If it's just too bad. Oh, he's level eight now. Okay. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, I gotta level up both of them. Um, so now we can switch. Um, yeah, we take. Oh. It's because I wasn't on Switch, yeah, because of the fucking speed, dude. It's too fast. I still, it, like, his peg is actually pretty good damage, honestly. Alright, so honestly, as, as long as we have Zeo at the front fighting Brock, we should be okay. Um, I forget, like, what his, like, highest level is. I think his Onyx is at, like, a level 11 or something like that. I can't exactly remember, but at the end of the day, I don't want to be, like, over-leveled to where it's, like, piss easy. I just want to at least, like, be, like, somewhat on par of what we should be at, you know, getting to him, so. Uh, Whirlpool will not be in this game. <laughs> it's not the same gen, but fair enough. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, is what it is. <laughs> I I'm gonna have to switch. Switch him out, and yeah, we're gonna get back in Zio just for the safety. Now. Uh, what's going on, Eccentric? What's up, dude? Uh, get better Pokemon. I can't get better Pokemon right now. I gotta stick with what I got right now. Don't worry, we'll we'll get better ones later. I'm sure. 
I don't trust that level difference with that health. I really don't. Fuck that. I'm going super safe. If we had like five misses in a row, it'd be so sad. Okay, let, let's go heal up real quick. Alright, now we're gonna come back. You're, like, you're expecting me to like get like good shit like on Route 1? <laughs> I mean, thank god we actually got the, uh, the Pidgey at the start. Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna like make another pseudo rule as we're going along here. Um, we can only get um, the same Pokemon once. So like, say for example, I get another Rattata in like another route. That I gotta hold that, but if we go to another route and the first Pokemon is another Rattata, we're not gonna get that Rattata. We're gonna try and get something different. So, no, we can have two of the same, but no more than that. We can't exceed that. So, just for the more variety, um, unless like one of them dies, then uh, if we have like a Pokemon that dies and there's only one left, then we'll switch back to that if we can. Uh, can you tell what level your Pokemon are? I mean, I could always do that like here. Um, I could just go back into the Pokemon here, but I have to go to the tracker and like set that up. I can't leave the tracker on and do this at the same time because I think it messes it up. But I'll try and like experiment it when I'm off stream just so that we can make sure if we can actually have something right here on the bottom. Um, you mean Brock's? Um, I mean, I can, but I'm not. I, I want to try and go through this as blind as I can because I don't remember what their levels are. But I'm going to do my best to like go with it with the information I have from my memory. So I think it's like a level 11, but I'm not going to rely on my memory too much. You know, I, I want to make this as hard as possible. I'm not going to look up shit. So. All right, so hearts getting up there. Um, two more levels and then I feel like we can move on. And then, of course, we got to uh, level up now, which is... That might be a little bit of a pain, but it's okay. I just want to see. Oh, yeah, okay. He's fine. Alright, nice level up. And he got Leer. Cool. Leer's actually pretty good. I don't really trust that level either, so let's get that. <laughs> Oh, wow, sand attack. Shit, okay. Oh, thank god. <laughs> I was really like, oh shit, do I actually have to like switch to something else because I got sand attack? Fuck. So you can negate uh, status drops if you switch your Pokemon. Uh, that also goes in line with, um, what else? Uh, it's a status ailment. Oh, and confusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you get confused and you switch out, like, it'll be nullified in the confusion. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, I'm telling you, my memory of Pokemon is not really all there, man. It's been too fucking long. Dude, like, when they get a crit and it's, like, fucking... And it's, like, right there on their, like, last hit. Oh, it's gonna, like, have a really bad sinking feeling in my stomach. Alright, he's getting close to level 8. And then we'll move up a little bit into Viridian Forest. I mean, we could try... Well... Actually, no, we do have uh, the rival fight we can do as well, so, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess we'll try. I don't know what his level is at, though. Alright, I'm not, that's too, that's too high. I thought he would, like, do more damage to him, but that's not worth it. A crit could do it. I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> Lib, go drink your milk. <laughs> man, I don't know about you, man, but I was not a milk kid. I did not really like milk at all. Chalk and milk or nothing. Oh, okay. Okay. Again, I'm just testing the waters here, but I mean, that was a crit too. Okay, let's get him the fuck out of here. We're out. <laughs> Alright, he should be able to level up the next um, few fights, and then we'll switch over to, uh, to Mal. Yeah, thank God we have this, like, time speeder shit, because, oh boy, <laughs> it w we would be here a while doing, like, grindy bits, and it would really be fucking boring. But like I said, if we're doing trainer battles, we'll, like, take it off, and then, you know, gym battles, too. Alright, uh, that's good enough for his levels. Let's just see how much he can take. Ooh, only three damage off of a level three. Okay, that's not bad. Alright, so now we're gonna switch out, uh, Heart Assassin, and we're gonna put in Mel. 
Let's. I'm not gonna even risk this hit. Yeah, I'm not even gonna risk it. Fuck that. Oh, not bag. Uh, we ain't trying to bag here. All right. So let's see. How much damage does this do? Around about half. And how much does bubble do? Around about the same, I guess. I, I think that his special attack is not as strong as his normal attack. So. Alright, get you back in. <laughs> the fucking music, man. Alright, now against level 2, what, what can we do? Okay, so we speed match. Alright, we took out that. Perfect, cool. Let's let's actually see um, let's see Mel's shit here. Uh, he's a relaxed. Again, I'm not really sure what all those mean. Attack is oh yeah that defense and oh that speed is nine. Oh wow, this is not a good one. <laughs> this is not a good one. Uh, okay, that's unfortunate. Same level. I'm not gonna risk that. Fuck off. Something tells me that was going to crit and it was going to make my day really bad. Got to wipe the bitch off your screen? What? <laughs> Damn, you guys really fucking go in on each other, huh? Will, Will, Smith, Smith, Will, Smith. Now I'm really confused. Uh, I'm not going to look that up either, the, the natures and stuff. Um, I'm just, like I said, I'm going to hold that. I'm going to try and not know. <laughs> I mean, unless I specifically ask, like, well, you know what? No, I won't ask. I won't ask. I don't want to know anything, really. I mean, I guess we could check them out for you guys so that you guys can see it. Oh, actually, he can take that. Okay, he can take level three Pidgeys, which... Gives me a little bit of confidence to, like, go up against other Rattatas, so. A nice crit. Okay, yeah, he can take this. He can take level threes. All right, but against another level three Rattata with Tailwind, though. That's half. And that's half. Okay. As long as he can, like, get the speed in. Again, I'm not really sure why he's not getting speed bonuses, but... All right, wow, he's actually gonna get to level six faster than I thought. Okay, so now that's half. That means that another crit would take care of it. Now it won't, at least it shouldn't. Uh, but then you'll know why they die so fast or hit hard. Well, I mean, that's fine. But for me, I don't really, again, I'm just going, I'm so gen wanting this in my brain. So if you wanna know like what it is, we'll just check to see and then you can know for yourself. But I'm not going to really, like, put myself into that. Withdraw. I think that's uh, defense up. So I'm trying to do this as casually as I possibly can. Okay, so Zio, here's the thing. Um, if you're talking about his being booty, that means that mine is booty as well. So I actually want to see what your typing test is. So I don't want to talk about booty booty butt cheeks with when it comes to typing until I see your shit so I right, see so yeah uh, at least yours has a booty I mean it's not a good one I don't think so if I take a crit oh, I'm fine as long as like I don't miss and then he doesn't crit we should be okay Hey, there's quick attack. All right, cool. So it doesn't matter about the speed advantage. It's always quick attack. Fuck that. Here you go. And that's already good damage, too. Here you go. <laughs> I think quick attack is 100. Let me just uh, confirm that. Oh, not switch. Uh... Oh, uh, how do you... It is 100. Yeah, okay. So I will always do um, quick attacks. All right, so let's heal real quick. And now all Mel needs is one more level, and then we should be able to take care of it. I'm going to go try the second rival fight after we get uh, everyone to level 8. I don't think that's a great idea, but... Ooh, nice crit. Good shit. That's a good damage boost, too. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, Mel can get these levels, that's for sure. Oh, that was, oh I gotta switch the moves so like we, we can have um, quick attack on the first thing. All right, there goes Mel, or not Mel, but um, Liberal with another paragraph that I can't read. My shoes are my cars are better, my drip is better, everything's better. Okay, I'm not gonna go. <laughs> Fucking hell. That's for you to read, bro. All right, one more battle, and he should be at level uh, level eight. Oh wow, that level two is barely not enough. Okay, there we go. Now we got level eight. All right, cool. So now that's our first threshold, um, getting everyone to at least a decent level for now. And now we're gonna go try a uh, rival two fight. I don't think this is a good idea. I don't remember what level he has, but let's go try. <laughs> uh, let's just, again, save it for whatever reason in case the shit crashes or whatever. All right, let's turn this off. All right, let's give it a shot, guys. We have Mel at the start, so we can do a quick attack at the beginning. So Pidgey at level, oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. I don't think I'll die off of one hit. Oh, sick. Let's go, Mel. Let's go, Mel. Good shit. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Bulbasaur. Yeah, obviously. Level 9. I don't think I'll die off of a uh, hit either. <sighs> That's a crit. He can, he can, he can take another hit. He can take another hit. Let's go, Mel! Oos! Let's go, Mel! Oos! That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Good shit. Mel, Mel took out everything with fucking crit, uh, quick attack? Oh, fucking hell. Let's go. Rival 2 was free. Let's go, Mel. Oh, fuck. That actually was a little scary. <laughs> we got the crit 2 off of the Bulbasaur? Fuck all that shit. As long as we can get those uh, crits, we're good, bro. Good shit. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. All right. Viridian Forest time. Uh, let's go see what our first Pokemon will be there. I'm not going to do a grindy bit here just yet. Do all, any of you have, like, items or anything like that? No? Okay, see ya. There is a lot of, like, stuff out here, too. There's a lot of trainers. I think there's, like, four of them. And there's, like, some random-ass items out here, so... I hope for me, because I love it, I would hope a Weedle. Because I really want to have Beedrill. Because I fucking love Beedrill. So, let's go. Caterpie. Fuck. Alright, we get stupid ass Butterfree. Alright, whatever. Alright, we should be good. Level 5 though, so he's going to level up quite fast. At least, you know, get to uh, Butterfree pretty fast. All right, we're going to be uh, nicknaming our Caterpie. Uh, what do we have here? Who is next? It's like Mortal Kombat. Who's next? Ah, here we go. Perfect, and it's a female. There we go. Oh. Uh, select. Oh, yeah. Lena. Lena. Do this. Lena Troll. <laughs> uh, T-R-O-L-L. -L. There we go. Perfect fitting. <laughs> Alright, Lena the Troll is now the Caterpie. Uh, and now with that, since we have a little bit of a break time, let's go and add up to the, um, to the tracker is what we have. So let's add Caterpie. And we're gonna name, uh, uh, Lena Troll. She is level 5, and we got her at Viridian Forest. There you go. I forget that there's, like, all these different areas and shit. Let's also uh, change your guys' levels now. So, you're at level uh, 10. And everybody else is at... Oh, actually, no. Uh, Mel got to level 9 from that fight. Yeah, so... You're level 8. You are level 8. And you are level 9. Good fucking shit. All right. 
Good enough for me. That's our squad right now. Okay. Now we got to get back to this. Okay, cool. Now back to this speed. <laughs> um, let's get... I'm going to try and get everyone to level 10. And I think that Zeo at um, level 12 would be a decent pick before we get out of Viridian Forest. At the very minimum. Because then I want to go and do these other fights uh, pretty legitimately. So let's switch... Oh. Uh, switch him out. Oh, there's an item here. Oh, another Pokeball. Nice. We got that shit back. Oh, Metapod shouldn't have anything, right? Metapod should only have Harden. Yeah, I think Metapod should only have um, Harden. So, uh, as much as I would want to stay there and just go back and forth, I just want to make sure if he doesn't actually have anything. Yeah, he doesn't. Okay. So, as, as long as we have, like, wild Metapods, I could just level up Caterpie for free. That's actually a pretty decent uh, amount of experience. Oh, man! Oh, I fucking Weedle. Oh, man. All right, whatever. Let's get Ontarioso in here. That really, like, burst my fucking bubble, man. Ooh, and we're poisoned. Okay. So, we have antidotes. We're good. I don't know if I can make it to... What is, uh, is level 14 or 14 health? Nine. Can we make it? Without spending anything? We have to. That's fine. Here's, uh, Antidote. Fuck, that sucks. Oh. At least we bought one, so... We're at least prepared for that. That really... I thought we could make it all the way back to the PC. Oh, well. No big deal. Alright, back to Viridian Forest. I guess we could do this route, too. I guess there's no real difference. Yeah, I'm actually kind of worried about um, Lena's defense stat, but... We're already here. She can take this one out. Yeah, that's fine. Keep doing tail whips. That's fine. 16. That's not as much levels, so or experience, rather. Let's just go in here. We have the higher chance of getting uh, metapods that don't do shit anyway, so that can be fast. Yeah, keep doing string shots because we're already like slower than you. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, I'm not really too worried about crits. I just want to be at least above 10, yeah. Another Caterpie. This one level 3. Ooh, almost half for crit. Okay. And yeah, this is a great place to, like, level up uh, these fucking bugs. Yeah, so I know that, um... I know that they can get levels off really fast. Um, but I don't know, like, what level they go into, um, like, Butterfree and shit like that, so. Don't get poisoned. Gosh, you keep missing. Uh, too late. Um. Ontario, so get back in here. Nice, okay. Yeah, so now we gotta just do the switches. Oh, well. Unless we get into a, um. You know, like, a Metapod. Again. That's gonna be annoying. Um Yeah, I guess for now. Ay vey. Okay, so yeah, we can't do that anymore. That was actually going to get super close. Alright. Uh, how many potions do we have? We have four. Not worth it. We gotta go. <laughs> we gotta go back and heal. Alright, so that's really the disbenefit of going in here. It's like the, um... Uh, getting, like, the poisons off. Because I don't have that many antidotes. And we're gonna run into, like, some trainers that do have, ant uh, poison types. So, that could be a problem. 
Uh, so I'm just gonna level up off of this route, just for speed. I feel like this would be like a decent like area to just grind for a bit. Oh, we could have gotten a Mankey. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I forgot Mankeys. Yeah, I said that before too. All right, not bad, not bad. Oh, what's going on, suit? What's going on, man? <laughs> Long time no Persona. I mean, hey, you missed Persona the other day. Actually, what? We played it yesterday, matter of fact. So yeah, <laughs> if you were here yesterday, you would have seen that. But oh well. And now we gotta fucking switch because of how bad the levels are. Uh, that's fine. Oh, that's not that bad. I'm still not at a level with her, though. Oh, well. Atarioso, get back in here. Uh, maybe like level 11 or something he gets Gust. Let's see. Oh, no, level 9. Nice. Okay, cool. That means that we could go through these Mankeys pretty fast. Oh yeah, one shot. Easy. Get out of here. Alright, level 7. Hey, we got our Metapod! Let's go! <laughs> and there's the Harden. Alright, perfect. <laughs> now, Lena's perfect. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, Ontario, so get back in here. Get that Gust. Yeah, as long as we can do this for a while, and then we'll switch back to um, Heart, we can do this pretty easy. Oh, not Heart. Get you back in. Again, we're just only doing this until we get to level 10, since we just got to Viridian Forest. Um, hopefully we can get like some trainers done so we can get some more um, antidotes and shit. Yeah, I don't want to risk that. I feel like she could take a hit, but it's not really worth trying to find out. Yeah, it's free. Right, how long? We've been. Oh, I guess, yeah, because we started at 5 30, yeah. We didn't actually start the run until 6, so. Yeah, we've only been, like, doing this run for about a half hour now. So, a half hour in, and we have the Rival 2 done, where we're basically into Viridian Forest, and we're about to get everybody to level 10. So, that's really not too bad. We're definitely going to get to. Um, we're going to get past, I think, Mount Moon, and then after that, we might just get to. Um, what is this? Celadon City? With Misty, I think that's what it's called, Celadon. Um, I don't actually know what's stronger. Let me see. Attack is 15, special attack is 10. So I think because it's a special attack of flying, I don't actually know if uh, Gus is a special attack or not. But I'm just going to go for tackles, just because I know that his regular attack is stronger. Even though it's less accurate, we got that just fine. Okay. So now we're going to be using uh, Heart Assass for a little bit. Ooh, okay. Maybe maybe not. Uh, Mel, get in there. <laughs> I don't want to go up against another Spiro with that shit, because Spiros can actually like be deceiving with their, uh, with their stats, I believe. If I go against a Spiro, then no. But if I go against Mankeys, yeah, I'm going to peck the shit out of it. Uh, I guess, yeah, Hart could probably take this. Yeah, Hart's got this. Come on. Oh, yeah, since we got Mankeys too, yeah, that's free as well. Uh, Hart, get back in there. And she's about to get to level 8 too, so that's pretty fast. Oh yeah, she, she should be able to take this free. I shouldn't switch for that. Level, uh, I'll try up a, like, level, ooh, that's a three. Okay, let's go heal. <laughs> that's a good time to heal. Fuck all that shit. A crit would have been at a six, and that would have killed. Well, no, she was at a nine, but still, whatever. Fuck all that. Mm -mm. Safety when it comes to my bugs. <laughs> Sucks I get a fucking Butterfree, man. I really wanted it to be a Beedrill. Alright, whatever. No big deal. Uh, Heart. Uh, just because we're at full health now, let's see what you can take. Five. Uh, let's, let's not 
let's not keep hard assassins in against those. It's not a good idea. We can have uh, Mel take care of that because his strength is so fucking strong. Quick attacks do them dirty, bro. Yeah, by the way, do you want me to lower the, um, <laughs> do you want me to lower the sound? Because, like, we're going through this shit that's, like, really fast. Is it annoying, or do you want me to just, like, leave it as is? By the way, the fact that this game is, like, mad bright, it's gonna be, like, sound is good? Alright, fine. I got you. Can you take a level three? Alright, well, Growl will really test that. Half. He can take level threes of, um, Sparrows. That's fine. Alright, yeah. We, we could switch back into heart. What was it? Only, like, three damage? Yeah. So, if they take a crit here... Yeah, we're good. We're good. But that's it for heart, unless... No, you know what? That's it for heart. At least for now. Uh, switch back into Mel. I think it takes a while for Rattata to get to, uh, Raticate. I think it's like up to like level 22, 23, some shit like that. It takes a while. So we're going to have Mel uh, in the rat form for a while. Another Mankey. Um, I think she should take this. Yeah, she should take that. Maybe not with the Leer. Okay, oh. I'm really pushing it here, but hey, we want to try and make this shit not as free as we can, so. Um, yeah, Mel, get back in there. Should be able to take that. Perfect. Now we heal, because <laughs> we're getting into, like, the yellow zone. Fuck all that. Mm -mm. Mel, it, honestly, I think, uh, because I remember Gen 1 being, like, uh, as far as, like, the original Gen 1, crits were based off your speed stat. I don't know if they kept that for, like, the Fire Eye Leaf Green. I don't think they kept it. But that's how it was before um, they went over to, like, the new gen. So, if you, like, had something that was super fast and you could use a move that crit all the time, then you would always get, like, you know, crits constantly. So, oh, yeah, yeah, that's how it was in Gen 1. It was broken because, like, you could get, like shit that was like mad fast and then like your crit damage would like be higher because you had a high speed stat so that's just how they made the game work that way and it's even have a special attack and special defense they combine both into one so alakazam's special defense and special attack were the same so he would take um he would take hits like physical hits but he would be able to take like surf and you know shit that's not physical so yeah gen 1 was actually kind of broken but I didn't know at the time. I was just a damn kid. I was like, oh shit, my Alakazam's doing good. <laughs> that was a crit. Okay, he keeps doing the leer, but it's not really adding too much to like his uh to his damage on me. Oh yeah, we can't have we can't have Lino go against this. Uh heart. I just wanna see. A crit is a 10. Thank you for doing that instead of actually hitting me. I'm pushing. I'm pushing the fucking barrier, man. Yeah, you should be able to take this free. Yeah, perfect. I bet even without the crit, it would just too free. Let's see. Nice crit, yeah, you should you should take this. Level four though. Let's get heart. Uh level nine? Oh not quite. Maybe you could take this? Oh, yeah, only two damage. Yeah, okay, that's not bad. Level three Mankey, she should be able to take it. The Rattata, though, maybe with a crit, it would be pretty dangerous, so I'll just switch. Yeah, even with, like, heart. Yeah, I mean, 
Pidge, uh, Spiro's defense is not all that great, but... Fuck it, let's just see. Tail whip. Oh, okay, good. I was expecting something like that, so... Alright, we're good. Alright, Mel, get your ass in there, bud. When all else fails... Oh, I hit tackle by accident. That was a 4-4, four and four, so an 8 would be a crit. Yeah, we're good. Alright, level 10. Sheikah's the... Hey! Butterfree is at 10? I thought it was like at level 12. Wow. You get confusion. Yeah, there you go. Alright, cool, cool. Alright, we got fucking Butterfree. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this shit. Alright, cool. Uh, so we're, we're good on you. Now we're gonna... I gotta heal, though. So we gotta get Heart to uh, level 10 and Mel to level 10. And then we'll go into Viridian Forest and then slaughter all of them. <laughs> we'll be able to get some money, too. So, like, when I come back and, like, use up all my antidotes, no doubt, um, I'll just go and grab a few more because poisons are gonna be, like, quite a big thing for a while. All right, so, yeah, free level up here. Let's see, what's his stats? Uh, attack 14, defense 11, speed is at 19. That's a really strong speed stat at this low level. That's basically like guaranteeing one shots here. Ooh, almost. Alright, come on, give me like level 5 so that we can just get a little more experience as we go. I think as we go through Viridian, um, I'm gonna have, um, I'm gonna have, uh, Zeo be at the start, so that way he could just start getting some levels, because I want to at least have him be at, like, level 12. Maybe by, like, level 14, we can, like, have him stop leveling, so we can get him to, uh, to Brock. That's a 5. So at level 5, he could take 5. <laughs> you love that? <laughs> man, you, you gotta stop boat like trying to like toot your own horn, man. We don't know what the fuck else this Nuzlocke's got for us. So, we'll have to see, right? Alright, level 10. Hark can stop leveling. Um, not fucking this shit. Uh, Switch and Mel should be a free level 2. Mel is actually like, I did not expect a Rattata to be this OD right now. Fucking hell, look at how much damage that is. Grant to level 3, but fuck. This is a fucking quick attack. That means that, honestly, he could, like, take out, um, like, Diglets and stuff. Because Diglets are also bad at, like, regular defense. I think their special defense is also kind of ass, too, so. Hell, also, like, uh, Mel could learn, like, Hyper Fang and shit, like, pretty early. So, that would really help out. Hyper Fang with, like, a quick attack and, like some other random shit. I think that Rattatas can learn like Thunderbolt. <laughs> you know, like some stupid shit like that. So I don't know. All right, one more level and then we can go back to Viridian. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. Easy. Bodied. All right, we got level 10 squads and just so everyone can see, everyone's at level 10. All right, time to go heal and then go to Viridian Forest. Uh, oh, there you go. <laughs> well, there's a free potion, too, and I forgot what... I think he gives us Dream Eater or um, Hypnosis, one of those two. Alrighty. Let's go. Gonna skip all these fights real quick. And we'll just, like... We got this item all the way at the top left. Is there an item here? No. There is an item over here, I believe. Ah! Go, Bell! Kick its ass! Uh, it's at 30 CF. Yeah. Okay. Yee! <laughs> ah, shit! Make this fast. Oh, thank you, String Shot. That'll never stop my quick attack. Got a potion. Oh yeah, we're one-shotting these Weedles now. Nice. 
Alright, uh, first trainer. Here we go. Like, a legitimate trainer. Let's bop these kids. Yeah, I'm gonna go bug catching. Yeah. Level six. Ah, you're not bad. But I'm... You're good. But I'm better. Alright, Mel. Clean sweep, bro. Let's get all these people to level 12. We're gonna keep Mel in. That's for sure. Harden didn't mean jack shit to you. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Fucking, you got the uh, insane speed, you got the fucking attack stat, and you got your constant crits. 72 bucks. Fucking, why are these kids so fucking cheap? Alright, there's another trainer. Yeah, I'm gonna go bug catching too. My name is Doug. Yeah. I don't know why I think these bug catchers sound like that. Alright, not a one shot. That's okay. No poison. Eat shit, bub. Oh, he's gonna have all Weedles, huh? Oh, yeah. Can, hey, bring on the string shot. Bring on the string shot, bro. Oh, I forget, like, how good trainer battles can be as far as, like, leveling up. Oh, and a Kakuna. Oh, hey, look at that. Let's throw a Tail Whip because I know that their defense is going to be a little bit higher. Well, <laughs> all right. Well, that was completely useless. Uh, all right. Fuck it. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, well, you just prolong the inevitable. As most of these trainers most likely will do. There you go. Easy clean sweep for Mel. Once we get him to level 12, though, then we'll switch off to, like, maybe, um, uh, Lena, I guess. You love the, uh, Fire Red Leaf Green music? Well, it's, um, remixes of the original, um, soundtrack. So, I appreciate the original soundtrack more because, um... Just because, like, it just sounds better to me because of the 8-bit shit. Oh my god, and we're just tackling one shots with these Caterpies, too. You know what? Well, there's a free antidote. Okay, cool. That was really nice of you. Oh, got another battle. My name is Anthony, and I collect ants. I wonder, is there an actual ant Pokemon? I have no idea. I know you never played those. I know, it's okay. I played the better ones, it's fine. <laughs> By the way, his uh, PP is going low. His PP low. Even at level 8, Caterpies suck. Look at that. Alright, well there's level 12. Alright, now Mal can just take a little bit of a breather. 96, so we can get another antidote if we want to. Um, I'm going to switch him out, and let's get Lena back in here. We're going to let her level up for a bit. And since, like, she knows confusion, like, let me just check out her uh, special defense, or special attack, rather. Special attack being a 21, and speed is still not all that great, but special attack and special defense are really nice. So, I'm, I'm liking that. So, yeah, we'll have to keep Lena around for a while. That confusion will help us out. Especially against, like, Pokemon like this. Just being super effective on these Weedles, that's just so much better. It has 25 of those confusions, too, so, like, we're, we're really good right now. Hey, bud. Let's go for another fight. Charlie! Level 7. Okay, we should maybe get another level at the end of this fight. The remixers are way better. I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know about that one. Yeah, it doesn't super affect um, the um, Caterpies or um, what is it? Metapods? Because I think they're just labeled as bug types, so... Yeah, they're not poisoned, so. Oh, 
Oh no, my speed's down. What are you gonna do, tackle me? You'll be all right. Yeah, that should take us to level 11. And maybe like the next like few fights, she'll be able to be done. At least leveling up for now. And then from there, I'm gonna bring in um, probably Heart Assass, just because the flying types are gonna level up for free against all these bugs. <laughs> I know all about it, uh-huh. Give me your money, and now let's move on. <laughs> I really fucking wish I had a fucking Weedle right now, man. I would be having Beedrill right now, but... Oh, well. Thanks for agreeing with you. I, don't worry. You can agree on lying, you know? I agree that you're a liar. 100%. Oh. Another potion. At least we don't have to go back in case, like, we do get hit. Fine. And this should be the last fight for uh, for Viridian Forest. One Weedle? Oh, a level 9. Oh, scary. Fucking bugs. Oh, shit. Fuck out of here. Child. <laughs> I'm going to be Pokemon League champ. I'd be safe, though. Uh-huh. Wait a minute, we don't actually have to level up here. Yeah, because we have the other, um... We have this other route. Right up here, right? Oh no, this still counts as route 2? Oh shit, oh well. Well, we can't actually get a new Pokemon here, but... Oh well. Uh, so you don't... You should not have Gust? Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, let me also change, like, the... Moves, so that way they're at the right spots. Let's have a uh, hard at the end, string shot there, and confusion there. How do you switch Pokemon? Oh, you have to hit down. Um, so let's have bubble at the start. Put that in, tail whip, and then withdraw. That's fine. Gus will put you at the start and there. Quick attack, we definitely want you up there. That's fine. I won't I basically won't be using any of those. Okay. Good enough for now. Yeah, again, this should... Oh, fuck. Whoops. I forgot I switched it already. Okay, I, I gotta get used to, like, switching all this shit back and forth. Yeah, tackle should just take care of it. Alright, so going into Brock... We have uh, Zeo, we have Lina, we have Heart, Ontarioso, and we have Mel. Mel won't be really doing us good against uh, Brock himself, but I believe that the uh, trainer right before him has a Diglett, so I could actually use Mel against that, because it won't actually like have like a negative stat, of, uh, or, like a not very effective stat when he does any attack. So I feel like that's a safe bet. Um, also having, um, well, if they have Rock Throw, then all the basically like all the flying types are dead. So. This might actually just be solely up to Zeo, at least as far as, like, um, Brock is concerned. So, I really want to make sure that, uh, he's at a good level. Alright, so Lena's at level 12. I think we're done with her. Um, let's switch. I don't need to actually, like, heal yet. Yeah, let's get Antario, so next. Why not? Well, here's the thing, right? Because, like, what could I actually do instead? I could have Butterfree there, or Lena. And then, like, half confusion because of, like, it won't actually hit, like, a, um, it won't actually hit, like, their regular defense. It'll hit their special defense. Um, and they're also, like, normal effective with psychic moves. So that's the only safe backup that I have. But again, they have rock moves. And I believe that, um, that Butterfree is psychic and flying. So that's not really going to help me because flying types are, um, bad with rock types. So. That's the only, like, safe backup that I have, because everybody else will either, like, not very affect them with Mel, or get toasted. You know, it's it's rough. So, it's unfortunate that we didn't get, like, a Nidoran, because Nidoran would actually, like, be able to fight, um, like, Brock, and almost everybody in the whole game really easily, because Nidoking and Nidorino and all that shit, they're all fantastic. So, they can learn so many moves, and, like, at different times and shit, it's just not worth 
like having almost anything else in your party but him. Just like a very, very good safe bet. So he just sucks with like water types and stuff, but he'll be all right as long as he has like a thunderbolt or something like that, which he can learn. Aside from that, you know, just be safe with it, really. I also don't remember, like, what the trainer is before Brock, like, what his level's at. I think that the highest level that Brock has as Onyx is 14. But that's just my guess. I can't remember. So, I don't know. We'll just have to, like, kind of deal with it as we go. We'll, we'll take, like, the first battle and, like, use that as the testing of the water. And then just, you know, I guess learn from there. Alright, so he's getting close to level 12. Um, I should be able to level up after like one more. I'm not, I'm not testing that. You bitch. <laughs> All he did was fucking tail whip. Oh, fuck. That, that was kind of close. Uh, let's get heart in there. Wow, still not the level up? Okay, we're going back down here. Since we're going to be leveling up the uh, flying types, we may as well just, like, keep them in. There you go. Get that quick level, and then now we'll switch off. Bring heart. Oh. Switch. Oh. Switch. Okay, fucking hell. And then we'll just keep him in for the easy win tier. And 29, too. Like, that's still pretty decent as far as, like, what you get. And Metapods will actually have... Oh, you know what? We haven't found yet Kakunas. We haven't found, like, a wild Kakuna. Maybe that might be, like, a pretty decent level stat, too. I'm being too risky? I want to be risky. That's the thing. I don't want to try and, like, play this too safe because, like, it's kind of boring to see, like, oh, he's level 16 going up against Brock. You know, like, of course he's going to win. I want to at least, like, you know, be somewhat reasonable and, like, be at a decent level with them, you know? Like, I don't want this shit to be free, you know? You know, to lie on you. I not for Brock, but yeah, I I appreciate your vote of confidence with yourself. <laughs> That's for sure. You might actually get a crit. Who knows? I wouldn't really want to put it past you that you're uh, pretty decent at getting some crits. Uh, what the fuck is that? Okay, whatever. I thought I like took all that shit off my computer, but whatever. I come up like fucking bots. Oh! I forgot Pikachu's are here! <laughs> uh oh! Thundershock? Oh wow, that's not too bad. Wow! I forgot Pikachu's are in Viridian Forest! A hundred percent I forgot! Wow, yeah! That's like what, uh, 10% chance? Someone look that up! What's the percent chance of fighting in Pokemon Leaf Green, uh, a wild Pikachu? I wanna know the stat of that. I can't catch it! I already caught something in, uh, Viridian Forest. That's what Nuzlocke's do. I can't catch the uh, any route that I've already been to or a new area, whether it's Verdian Forest or it's routes or new cities. If I already, like, catch or kill a Pokemon, I can't catch any other ones after that. So, I had to hold that. Ooh, static. Well, that's not really all that good. I believe in you, heart. Oh, nice. Okay, well, maybe not that nice. Uh, oh! Uh-oh. Like, well, I, I could have... I could have probably taken it with, um... Zeo. Alright, we're out of here. Oh, wow. 5%. Wow. If we got Pikachu at the start, that would have alleviated, um, Butterfree. Which, I don't think I'm really, like, for that. Pikachu would have been great for going up against Misty, that's for sure. But... It were, really wouldn't have been great in the long run. Because, honestly, Pikachu sucks. And, like, I don't want to, like, train him or do anything for a Raichu. Because Raichus aren't really all that great either. So, if we had him, we would have had to be stuck with it. And we just had to deal with it. But, thank God, I got Butterfree instead. I mean, I'd take that over fucking Pikachu any day. Again, only really useful in, um, in, like, the water gym. Aside from that... Unless, like, I just have, like, a bad typing advantage or something, like, with a Gyarados or some shit. 
I don't know, Pikachu would have been kind of pointless. I would rather like a, a Magnemite with a Magneton. But honestly, electric types to me like aren't really that useful in this game. Unless they have to be like water flying, water by themselves, or just flying. All the normal shit that they're good against. I just don't really like electric types in general. Hell, I actually much prefer poison types, honestly. Like, the poison status effect and, like, you leeching off their life and shit as you go along. Oh, so good. I like to play the long game with, like, a lot of that shit, so. Hey, there's our first Kakuna. There you go. That could have been, uh, that could have been nice, I guess. Alright, uh, and now we just need to switch to Zeo. Let's go fight, uh... Let's go heal, make sure everybody's at a good level. And then we're gonna go fight the first uh, trainer in Brock's gym as um, as Zeo. We're gonna just get that free or easy uh, level up first. Oh, here we go. And again, let's just save it for just in case we like crash or something. All right, let's go. I think he has like a Geodude and a Diglett and that's it. Oh, right about the first one. All right, here you go, here's your bubble. Here's your bubble. No water gun though, but bubble is still pretty decent. And a crit, nice. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Yeah, that was worth it. <laughs> that was worth it doing it now. Sandshrew. Fucking Sandslash is one of my favorites, so it's cool to see Sandshrew. Hopefully we can get one. Sandslash is so fucking rad. Alright, well, his uh, special defense might actually be really good, so that's probably why we're not doing so much damage. Either that or our special attack is just not that strong. Or both. Won't matter about that, because we could just kill it off of this one. Alright, nice. 219, level 12, baby. There you go. Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> Alright, we're out. Peace. Oh, so by the way, since we, um... Since you can go and get um, a Pokemon up here, this counts as like a brand new Pokemon up there for the fossil. So that's another thing we have to keep in mind once we get um, once we get there. All right, this might take a while because these guys don't nearly give as much experience. Yeah, it might be like I don't know, like another like ten minutes before we can go fight Brock. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is like the um, I can pretty I'm pretty sure that I can take on the Geo dude pretty easy, like maybe get hit once. But I'm actually a little bit nervous about what the Onyx has because I don't know what his moves are, and I'm not really sure how well his uh, special defense is. So if his special defense is high, then it might take a little bit longer to kill him. So I'm hoping that's not the case, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I'm using tackles here because it's just faster. I don't care if I miss, just... Wait a minute, what is Bubbles' accuracy? I gotta find that out. What is Bubbles' accuracy? 100. Oh, yeah, wow, no wonder. Bubbles sucks. <laughs> it's only a 20, yeah, and our special attack is 15. Our special defense and regular defense are really nice. So, I mean, hopefully our next levels will up the special attack, but... Whatever. All right, yeah, so don't mind me as we get through this a little bit. Then after this, um, we have the next route. We can definitely take care of like a few trainers there, um, but I'm not really sure what they can take or what they can just shout out. Oh, we got it. Now let's go and heal.
All right, now we're officially an hour into it, and we're just about to go fight Brock. So I feel like we're making a pretty decent time. Thank you for the speed ups, by the way. That just helps me out so much. Because if we were, if we, oh, water gun, let's go. Fuck you, uh, yeah, fuck you, Bubble. Get the fuck out. Water gun's just so much better. All Bubble does is like lowers their speed sometimes. Fuck all that. Mm. All right, now with water gun, I'm way more confident. I thought that made me like at level 14 he would learn it, but 13 seems to be it. So. All right. So what do you guys want to talk about <laughs> before we uh, go fight this? So uh, for the next person that's going to be uh, a Pokemon, it looks like it's going to be Salty Dragon that's going to be next. So the next route that we go into after this fight um, into the gym is going to be our next Pokemon. I believe that it's like filled with like um, Rattatas and shit. I think that there's also like Clefairies and like Jigglypuffs and shit, but nothing like crazy that we could find. So I'm hoping that we... Um, Hoping that we at least get something different like Clefairy, but if we get like something that's uh, the same, I would rather honestly get um, another Pidgey because I feel like Pidgeys are like glass cannons. Like they're like pretty decent damage, but like their defense is not good. So most likely we might lose our Pidgey like of anything. I know we still have Heart Assassin's as like a Spearow, but I'd rather not keep the Spearow like forever. I'd rather have the Pidgeotto to Pidgeot. That's me personally. I mean, Firo is cool, but, like, Firo I don't really think is, like, as good as, um, like, Pidgeotto or Pidgeot. It'd be kind of cool if, like, they had, like, a third evolution, but I feel like ho kind of, like, is a Firo evolved. Like, it looks just like it. I always thought that was the case, at least, but... Alright, we're good. And one more level should do it. All right, cool. All right, level 14. Yeah, Salty's been in here in and out. Um, he's mostly here, like, kind of just, like, wanting to go play Marble. Because uh, he was, like, again, one of my training partners and just, you know, grew up playing Marble with him. So, uh, by the way, what is our money at? We're at 1,000. How many Pokeballs do we have? We have... How do we switch? Oh, yeah. Seven... We're decent on potions. Antidote we're okay with. Let's see if they have anything new. I doubt it. Awakening. Burn. Okay, yeah. So let's get a couple awakenings. And... Wait a minute. Awakenings are kind of pointless. This wasn't... This wasn't smart. That's not smart. Whatever. I, I already made the decision. It's 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 so it's over. Okay. Brock's time. We're of course gonna save it right before we go in. Alright. Let's see if Zeo can uh redeem himself. This legit is basically all riding on Zeo's performance. Before we actually start the fight, let me just check his um his stats. Just for safety. Um, he is now at 20 attack, special defense, went up from 15 to 17. Defense and special defense are still good, and his speed is nice. So, as long as he can get the speed in, the damage with the water gun isn't going to be all that great. But he can still take hits, so I'm sure we'll be okay. I hope. Alright. Let's go, Brock. He's rock hard. And I'm soft as fuck. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Brock's, uh, Gen 1, like, original Gen 1 stance is so much better. Alright, we should be taking care of the Geodude. Yeah, one shot. I figured that was gonna be free. Just the, uh, the Onyx is just what I'm a little worried about. Alright, level 14. Um... Bind? Uh-oh. That could be like the constant damage shit that might fuck us over. And it's a one shot. Well, alright. There goes my worry. 
<laughs> Never mind. I thought at least we would, like, be pretty bad for, like, maybe two or three turns, but I guess not. Boulder badge, done. All right, so now let's update our tracker as well once we, uh, once we get here. 1,400, that's pretty good. When did this come out again? What, um, this version of this game? 2004, uh, Fire Red Leaf Green came out. The original, um, yellow, uh, red and blue came out in 93, 94, something like that. One of those two. Rock Tomb. Nobody can learn Rock Tomb, I think. Oh, I keep... Just to, just to get that done. Let me just see. I don't know if anyone can learn the TM here. Oh, that accuracy is bad anyway. Yeah, it's an 80? No, fuck that. It only has 10 hits? Fuck all that shit. I'd rather sell it, honestly. Alright, so now what is our stats looking like? Okay, so I'm going to update the tracker. Alright, Zio, you have now surpassed level 10. You're at level 15. Um... Pidgey, which is uh, Ontarioso. I already forgot. What is he level? Oh, we have everybody at level 12. Yeah, that's right. So let's put 12. Nope, not 4. We got 12 here. We got 12 here. We got 12 for Mel. And of course, we have Evolve, Evolve, right into that nice Butterfree. Uh, level 12 as well. Okay, all right, let's keep going. Yeah, nobody got to level 13 yet. I was tripping. Okay. Uh, let's go heal. I mean, we don't really need to, but it's fine. Oh, here we go. Ow, stop in the wall. Okay. Uh, so now level 16 is like kind of where I want to be going into Mount Moon. So, all right, thanks for the running shoes. And now, now I can go even faster, faster. Yeah, let, let's go. Oh my God, my eyes. <laughs> level nine. Oh yeah, we're we're good here. We can we can handle this shit. Oh yeah, we're in a trainer battle. Never mind. Not a one shot with the uh, water gun. Nice miss. Oh, I was about to say, dude, nice miss twice. I'll keep Zeo in until we get to level um, 16, and then we'll switch to, like, uh, Mel, I guess. He should be able to take care of. Uh... Well, actually, no, we're going into a bug catcher, so. Let's switch that for uh, heart. Bring him in here. I saw your Viridian Forest. I'm going to body you again. Not quite. Colton. I ain't never met a motherfucker named Colton. Wow, not a one shot. Definitely not a one shot. <laughs> okay. Probably won't one shot here. Oh, oh wow! Come on! Don't get don't get poisoned. Oh, thank you, thank you. I granted the um the what is it? The Pokemon Center is like right there, but I did not want to like waste my fucking time with that shit. And yeah, another Caterpie. Won't be able to level up here, but maybe the next fight I'll be able to. Ooh, yeah, probably the next fight. All right, just trying to steal some guap from these kids, man. Level 11 Rattata, which means that its defense might be decent. Oh. Quick attack. Oh, mm. 
please don't quick attack. Oh, thank you. Well, that was a little scary. The quick attack with the le uh, the tail whip is actually a little <laughs> butt clutching. Hey, fury attack, cool. Not bad. Ekans. Oh, and with the intimidate too. Um, clear it up. And then I'll switch to someone else. Ooh. There it is. It's a good thing I got the leer off then. Oh my god, that's so close. Alright, Heart, get the fuck out. Uh, Lena, get yourself in there. This should be poison type, so Psychic will, uh, or Confusion will take care of it. I think we should have the, um, the speed advantage. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, not quite killing it, though, but hey, we'll be fine. Oh, yeah, we're good. I unfortunately do have to spend a potion here. I'm not going to spend an antidote because I'd rather not. Potions we're just going to get even more of as we go along anyway. Alright, uh, let's make sure that I do the right thing here. Uh, throw a potion on for heart. We should be able to get to the Pokemon Center real fast. Let's make sure... Yeah, we're good. Okay, yeah. He would have died. Absolutely. It's so fucking nerve-wracking seeing <laughs> poison go off, dude. Run! <laughs> go back in the fights! Alright. Uh, so, yeah. 16 is where I want to be at for the next, uh, for the next area. I think there's another trainer, like, below where we are, so I'll just hop down. Oh, nice one shot. Let's go. Alright, got Kakunas. Not a one shot, yeah, because of the decent defense. I need to also change uh, Hard Assassin's move to, like, put in Fury Attack on, like, the next hit. Ooh, you know what? Mount Moon might actually be kind of annoying because we got like Zubats and shit coming through with a lot of Confuser. I think they actually do have uh, Confuse Ray. Alright, we should level up here. Okay. I don't know why I'm feeling like, yeah, nerve-wracked right now, man. I just, it's just been a while, dude. Is this the game where, like, you can fight the trainers? A level 14! I kind of betted that I was gonna, um, do that. It's fine, because... At least I got the first hit. Now Fury Attack, I feel like, is next. I'm going to try that. All right, come on. Three hits. And dead. Perfect. Nice. Great. That's kind of like a do or die move because, like, it can go up to five hits. And I'd rather just, like, try that when, like, they lower my attack. Because I'd rather kind of guarantee that we hit them more than once. Even though I may not be, like, getting too much damage, I'd rather, like, get the chance for a higher amount of things. Matata. Okay. Level 10. Nine off of a quick attack. Let's see. Alright, so nine and eight it can do. Perfect. Oh, yeah, let's go. I just don't want them to be two hits. Like, that would just be annoying. 
Oh, oh you have a Nidoran, you bitch. Alright. Get a good number at the start. Oh, fuck! He can live this. I thought she was gonna attack. Oh boy, wow. That sucks. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Uh, I don't think he'll live without potioning here. Oh yeah, I, I think he would have been like just dead. I don't want to risk that, dude. Okay, now I think I'm going to hold off on... How many potions do I have now? I have five. Okay, that's fine enough. If I get, like, to a three, I want to, like, start stocking up again. <laughs> Why do I keep doing this to you? It's not me, dude. I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to make it, like, not free, dude. I, I didn't even know, like, she had, like, a poison, like, physical hit shit. I had no idea. Don't worry, you're about to get to level 15, so you'll be alright. I'm trying to keep all y'all alive, dude. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. Nice Metapod. That shit. Half. Okay. I don't think that this next um, pack will kill it. Unless it gets crit. Nah. Yeah, I figured. Fury attack just to finish the job. Alright, so you're level 15. I know I kind of want to get them to 16, but I'm just gonna, uh... I'm just gonna, like, kind of, like, put them to the side for a second. Um... Alright, so heart, we're gonna switch you out for... Mel? Yeah, let's get him in for a little bit. Alright! Uh, do I want to... You're not a trainer, right? You're just... Because you move around? Yeah, you're good. And trainers can move? Jigglypuff. Oh, 14. That's not bad, actually. I'm actually a little bit afraid of her strength stat. Whew, good thing you didn't put Mel to sleep. It's them... Yeah, keep doing that. Keep doing that. Don't fucking hit me. Don't hit that. Fast. Come on. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, keep doing it. I don't care. This is. A, this will at least like. My God. Stop. Wake up, Mel. Stop sleeping. Oh my god! 11? Oh shit. Oh yeah, we, we can... We're, we're good. We're good. Okay. <sighs> Butt was clenched with that one. Okay. Oh my god. Fucking Mel sleeping on the job, bro. I was not happy with that. Mel, you need to wake up, bro. Is there another trainer battle here? I think he is. But this is a uh, uh, PC here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Skip him. Excuse me. Wait, those aren't trainers? All right, I guess not. Let's make that shit fast. All right, heal up. Heal up, boys. All right, so this is Route 3. What happened to... Or Route 4. What happened to Route 3? Is there any items on these rocks? Alright, you you don't have anything, so fuck off. You don't have anything. You don't have anything. You don't have anything. I always check, like, these random fucking rocks, because you never know if they actually have something. 
Oh, this is Route 3, and then this is Route 4. Okay. So I think that there might actually be, like, a Pokemon you can get in here. Like, someone wants to, like, trade. That means a Gyarados, boys. Wow. We got a fucking Magikarp. I thought it was a Jigglypuff in here. I legit... I don't know. Either that or a Clefairy. I thought it was, like, someone that you could, jump, like, trade with or something. 500 for a Magikarp. What do... What is... What is, what is the stats? Level 5. Adamant nature. Uh, so... Zeo, go at it. Adamant? I don't know what that means, but... 11 defense. It can take a hit. Speed is out speeding, but... <laughs> Raises speed in the rain. Oh, cool. Okay, so I could give it rain dance. It'll be faster. Okay. That's not bad. All right. Well, let's add that to the tracker. Uh, well, this is Route 4, right? Yeah, so... Uh, new Pokemon. Uh, no, not new Nuzlocke. Fuck. I did that shit. Uh, whoops. We're gonna add everybody else later. So, Magikarp. Uh, Salt Dragon. Uh, he is level 5. And we found him in Route 4. There you go. Alright, there you go. We have our 6. Two waters <laughs> of two flyings. A flying and a confusion and a normal. That's a lot of variety. <laughs> okay, so the thing is now to up um, Salt Dragon to our levels, which will take a while. So I have to go back and I don't even have to backtrack. I could just like go up to Mount Moon, I guess, and then start leveling from there. But that could just kind of take a while. So. All right. Let's keep going. Find me an opponent, I'll wake up. <laughs> a worthy opponent, excuse me. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Alright, so uh Yeah, let's keep Mel in for this uh for this trainer battle. You're not a trainer battle. Okay, so just to clarify, this is route three. So this is gonna be a new route and like our first Pokemon going into the bank. So, let's see what it is. It's another Pidgey. Okay, well, it's not something that I'm gonna be missing, so. I figured that. Uh, so now I can't catch any more Pidgeys. That means that we're going to have to, like, at least have, you know, something else. So let's get this Pokeball. All right. So, unfortunately, I thought you were going to be a cooler Pokemon than this, but I'm sorry, bro. Sorry, Suspenser. You're going to the fucking... You're going to the fucking box. Sorry, pal. All right. Uh, let, let me add that to the tracker so that way you guys can see what that looks like. Uh, so now we have our first box Pokemon. Uh, there you go. So this is another Pidgey. R-A-P-G. Uh, suspense. Or actually, no, it's just Spence. Not the suspense. What was its level five? Was it level five? I can't remember. I think it was five. I'm just gonna put it there for now. Uh, we found him in route three, and you are in the box. Sorry, suspenser. So you can see like the box Pokemon are gonna be below there. So, all right, there we go. There's our first boxed uh, Pokemon. Oh, what's up, Julie? I I don't think I noticed you there before, but. 
this. Uh, I'm going to get everybody to level 14 first, and then I'll focus on the Magikarp. Because at least I'll go into Mount Moon and then get a new Pokemon there and then see like what we can battle. Uh, salty a Magikarp. I mean, no, don't worry. I got it. I got it. Yeah. No species rule. Um, well, I don't know, like, if there's a species, like, defined rule, but I just made this rule for myself. Um, I can catch, um, the same Pokemon only once. So, if I find another Rattata in a different route, I have to catch that one. But, if I found another one... Oh, I could add a Nidoran! Oh, come on! Oh! Fuck! Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. That's a heartbreaker. What a fucker. Please don't get poison tipped. I mean, the, the thing's right there, so it's not a huge deal. Hyper Fang! There we go. All right, cool, cool. Now we have our, uh, we have our shit. Oh, my God. Well, level eight. Okay, that's not too bad, so. Oh, Hyper Fang. Yeah, we are Hyper Fanging the fuck out of these people. Shit already got me salty, bro. Are you a Pokemon yet? Liberal, you're actually the next one. So when we go to Mount Moon, you're the next Pokemon. So, get hype. <laughs> if you did the normal uh, duplicate species rule, you would have a Nidoran. So what is the normal, uh, like, rule for that? What is the normal rule? Because... I would assume it's like, you don't, you can like do like a re-roll for like three different times or something. Oh, I missed. Oh, Hyper Fang can miss? Uh-oh, wait, what is its accuracy? A 90. Oh, shit. Well, that's unfortunate. That kind of sucks. Well, it is a much stronger move and it can take a hit or two, so I'm not really too worried about it right now it's fine we'll just have to like deal with it as we go along anyway Nidoran is offensive sir it sure is salty but you know it, it is what it is I don't have her anymore <laughs> the fucking music bro Hopefully I can give something, like, t for him to hold on to so that way he has a better chance of, like, hitting shit. Alright, so he's level 14. Let me go heal. He's running out of, like, Hyper Fang and some quick attack, so. Typing in illegal. That's true. Uh, normal rule is that uh, the first encounter of the route uh, you have caught or owned. Uh, then you catch the next Pokemon that appears in that route that is not owned. So if you caught a Pidgey, you already can't catch another one. And if you encounter another one, you have to skip it and catch whatever appears afterwards if not owned already. Okay, so it's like you just don't get a chance to, like, get the same Pokemon. Uh... I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. So from here on out, if we do get that, um... If we do get, like, the same Pokemon again from here on out... Um, we'll do like a, a, a three roll. So if I find like another Pidgey, another Rattata, or another whatever, I'll get three different chances. Like the first one will be the first chance, and the second and third to find a new one. If I can't find the new one, then that's what I'll that that's the new rule. Sucks I don't have a Nidoran, but it's okay. You know, I I'll I I'm implementing the rule now. We get a random we get three re-rolls, so I just want to, like, make sure that it's, like, as fair as possible, like I said, the hardest for me, so. It is what it is. Oh, shit, we got poison. Okay, we're fine. Let's get out of here. I'm not spending an antidote. Let's get the fuck up there. Uh, you see the berry next to the Pokemon Center? There is no berry at the Pokemon Center. Unless it's, like, hidden. I'm gonna try. Hey! Oh! Hey! There is one! <laughs> okay, cool. What is that berry? 
it'll use... Ooh, to lift confusion. Okay, so since we're about to go into a fucking cave full of them, uh, let's give it to, like... I don't know. I guess, Lena? I guess? Ooh, we could have gotten a Mankey, too. Okay, well... I don't really want fighting types anyway, but... They're on the table. So many Nidorans. Too many Nidorans for me. And now I got poison again. Fucking hell. And there's the Jigglypuff I was looking for. Jigglypuff is cool. Oh my god. <laughs> now all... When I'm poisoned, now they all want to come out and fight? Relax. Eh, 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 eh. Get up there. Now can all like take all these fucking poison shots, bro. Yeah, I, I figured about like the variety, but like, you know, I. So he, so now I'm still gonna implement that rule for myself. That it's like if I find the second Pokemon and like we keep it, the third one will have to like you know skip on it indefinitely. So since we have two Pidgeys, even if we find like multiple Pidgeys in a row, they are invalid unless one of our Pidgeys die. So. Basically, the Pidgeys are non-existent for us to catch anymore. Up until, you know, further notice. So, it's a double rule. Like, we'll get the re-rolls, and we get, like, the same Pokemon only twice. So. Alright, so level 15. And we'll get up to 16. I feel like 16 is a good spot to, like, kind of go into Mount Moon. Because, like I said, it's just... I feel like it's a lot of Zubats and a lot of annoying shit. So, I'd rather just, like, be kind of stocked up on some stuff. I should grab potions before we actually go in there, too. Oh, and Hyper Fang's only 15, too, so I gotta keep that in mind. You did Nuzlocke and Heart Gold, and it was close to f winning it, too. You died to red? Fuck, dude, that sucks. That's definitely, like, one of the harder ones, like, to do uh, Gen 2, because you have all of that extra shit to do. I was debating on doing that, but, like, I don't remember Gold and Silver and Crystal all that much. Like, as, like, how to, like, actually beat it, because I played this more than any other, like, series, so. Uh, you see those little dark circles on the floor? Those are berries? Dark circles. He's not around here, I didn't see him. Even, like, where I found the, um, the berry, I didn't see, like, a dark circle. I just saw, like, a different shade of grass. Maybe that's what you mean. It's the pettiness from Mel. Sounds about right to me. Hell, actually, I know this because, you know, I just play Gen 1 so much. Squirtle is going to level up at 16. So, we're actually going to get a uh, War Turtle really quick. You know, I never really rocked Nidoran. I always not, um, Nidoran girl. I always did Nidor uh, Nidoran boy. So, it would have been really nice to, like, see, like, that different dynamic, but... Oh, shit. We're fine. <laughs> Again, I'm keeping it, like, butt-clutchingly close. Probably like one more fight and he should be able to be 16. Then it's gonna oh my god, the leveling up of the magic harp is gonna be so annoying. But hey, it's absolutely worth it for the Gyarados. I don't remember what level it is. Nobody tell me what it is to level up uh to Gyarados, but I think it's like 30 something. So we're in there for the fucking long haul. Alright, so Zeo. Well actually no, since we're gonna level up in Mount Moon with Zeo anyway. Uh, let's switch to Ontario so for now. <laughs> the the gust sounds so fucking stupid. <laughs> Ooh, actually this might be a bad matchup. Oh no, never mind. If they just do normal growls, like oh, wait, gust is normal attack? I thought gust was like a special attack. Okay. Because I thought wing attack was, um, physical. Huh. I guess not. 
fucking my bad. Lopez, you could uh, pretty much sweep the entire game uh, here on out with just the rat. Uh, that's not true. Oh. There's quick attack. That's cool. Fucking hell. It was weak anyway. <laughs> Yo, Mel, you going in right now. Uh, when is Julie going to be a Pokemon? Well, Julie, unfortunately, is not on the sub, um, the sub list. But she will be, like, one of the first ones to be after the sub list. So... Once we clear those, she'll probably be, like, one of the next few ones. We're just about, like, close to being halfway done with the uh, sub list now, so we're only in, like, the first area, really, so... It might be faster than I think to actually get more Pokemon. I guess I'll just like use uh, quick attacks after this. Well, now I guess level three, so I can just kill those. Wait, I, does Pidgey go to Pidgeotto at level 16 too? Maybe. Can't really remember. New Ray Mail is more common in red. Ah, no wonder. Okay. Well, that's fine. I still would have liked to use. Um, I sort of like to use Nidoran Girl just for the variety because I've always loved Nido King, but never really like utilized Nidoran um, or Nido, Nido Queen. I just like the design of Nido King so much better. Like if the blue like is good on her, but like I don't know, just never really like cared for. It, like it looks too much like a Kangaskhan to me. I don't know. It just doesn't look like it's like the cat, like the direct opposite for what you know Nido King is. You know, or like close enough. If you're doing gifted sublist, that'd be crazy. Yeah, there's no gifted sublist. It's anyone that's like on like a recurring thing. So it's not there. So yeah, I'm doing sublist first, and I'm doing like the people that are more common to my chats uh, that aren't sub. Um, and then we're going to just like lower. I'll, I'll pull up my follow list and then I'll double check to see like, you know, who I can put in first. No offense to people like just that don't get picked early. It's just who's been in here more often and who just comes to the chat. Might also like just be like a random that comes into the chat, you know? Who knows? Again, no hard feelings, just, you know, it is what it is. No, the, the thing is, is, like, I don't remember, like, what is physical and what's not. I know that, like, Surf is, like, a, a special. I know that Psychic is a special. Uh, but then, like, Rock Throw, I think, is, like, a physical. So, like, stuff that, like, sounds like it would be more of a physical type for me. Um, but even then, Gus, I thought, was just, like, they're throwing in, like, a thing of wind. But apparently that's a physical. So, hell, I, apparently I'm all off of all, all over the place. Every EV evolution plus uh, dragon are special types. The rest are physical. Every EV evolution plus dragon are special types. Oh, you mean like the uh, the Pokemon themselves, like what typing they usually are? Oh, that I, I don't even know. I don't even know like what that even means to be honest with you. Um, does that mean that they just like specialize in special attack damage, or is that how much they take? I, I don't really know the difference between. Just keeping it 100, so, you know, that way everyone knows, like, where I'm at with, like, my Pokemon knowledge. Alright, so there's 16. Do you... Oh, you don't evolve at 16. Okay, I'm wrong about that. I thought it was 16. Oh, uh, nope, nope. Switch to... Yeah, let's get Lena in. She's pretty much next to level up anyway. So she should be getting, uh, like, the stun spores and the poison powders and stuff. So I feel like what's going to be most important 
is uh, probably like the longevity of these fights. So if she's going to be in, I would rather them not be able to hit me rather than taking the damage because she will take the damage like quite significantly. So I feel like for me, I'd rather like the, like the stun spore or the sleep power. Most likely the stun spore because at least like it'll go on pretty much forever and like sleeping guaranteed like they can maybe like only go to sleep for like one or two turns but paralyzes the entire time that they're alive and it still could also it's the speed advantage too on top of that it's like cuts their speed and then it's like sometimes they just don't hit so i'd rather the uh the paralysis at least for uh for butterfree again i may be playing that wrong but this is just like my i'm giving you like my thought process like how i want to like tackle these um these pokemon that i have in this game, Fire Punch is a special move because it literally says punch. Oh, even though. Oh! I didn't know that. Well, I'm going to get rid of Harden anyway, so fuck all that shit. I'd rather the Stun Spore and, um, and the Poison Powder, I guess. Give me the constant, like, damage as Poison, and then, you know, have Paralysis with different ones. They didn't change that until Gen 4. Well, that might be a little confusing for me later. Because I always associated, like, no matter what it is, like, physical attacks like Fire Punch, you know, Cross Chop, all those are physical. But clearly I'm wrong about that. I wonder, like, in Leaf Green, like, do we get Geodudes in Mount Moon? I'm legit just trying to remember if we get, like, something that's decent in Mount Moon. We might actually get, like, another Nidoran, I believe. Like, I think that they're in the Mount Moon. I don't know. I guess we'll find out soon. Yeah, let me just focus on the tackles for a second. It's like I only have, what? Yeah, ten more us uh, uh, confusions. I'll save those for, like, when we're getting closer to, like... Or at least, like, a higher level Pokemon or something. Geodudes and Zubat. I, I knew the Zubats and the Geodudes, but I don't actually remember if, um, oh yeah, Confusion. Confusion for the Nidorans, matter of fact, just so we can one-shot those. I don't actually have to, like, touch them to get the poison off. Then again, I don't think that, um, Butterfree can get poison. She's not, uh, poison type, so no, never mind. It's just probably a less likely event. Hey, there's Sunspore. Good shit. Alright, get out of here, String Shot. Yeah, so that's her moveset, at least until I can get something better than Tackle. I think that she does learn naturally Psychic, but I know that we get a uh, Psychic TM from someone in one of those towns. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it, but it's the one that you fight uh, Rocket in the in the tower, for, like the Silscope. I know that one. I just oh, that's the one with the fighting gym in Sabrina. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot what was there. Well, fighting gym, you know, you want to put that in quotes. A gym that you don't get a badge in. I may want to actually heal up just for the... Yeah, let, let me just heal up real quick and just get the moves back. Kefari is the one that you want, though? Why would you, um, why would you say that about Kefari? Like, I like Clefairy, but why is, uh, why is she, like, valuable? Paris is the worst Pokemon in this game? Real Why would you say that? Paris is cool. And, uh, Parasect is cool. Are they, like, just the worst, like, when it comes to, like, uh, typing and stuff? And, like, what their moves are? Is, is that, like, specifically why they suck? Uh, sure, it has, a uh, Spore, which is 100% accurate Paralyze. Um, but it's Octo-weak to Fire. Well, that doesn't necessarily make it Octo-weak. So, wait, it's a Bug and Grass type then, right? Is that what that is? I always assumed that it was like a, a poison in grass. That doesn't make it the worst, because like Octo uh, weaknesses don't make a Pokemon that uh, suck. It just means that don't put them against fire type, you know? The stats are terrible. Okay, I figured. I thought it would at least be like a little beefy, considering like how big it is or whatever, but I guess not. Alright, so she's about to get to level 15. 
and then we could up uh, Squirtle into Mount Moon just for a little bit as we level up uh, Magikarp. And there's the Sleep Powder. Um, no. We're going to skip on Sleep Powder. I want the Poison and I want the Stun. I feel like for a lot of people, it's like one or the other when it comes to Stun and uh, Sleep. Because, like, why would you want one over the other? Like, I'd rather have, like, the constant forever of Stun. Unless, like, it's a specific matchup for Sleeps. Like, Haunter with, like, you know, Dream Eater or something shit like that. Which I really hope to actually get uh, Haunter. Because Haunter is one of my fucking favorites as well. So. Now, where the hell did fucking. Why did Lena take so much damage? But she is kind of wrecking house with these guys, though, so. Shouldn't be that many more fights. Maybe like six more? Well, not if you give me weaklings like that. <laughs> there you go. Give me the mankeys. Yeah. Also, fighting types I don't really want either in this game. Like, if I have to get a fighting type, I'd want a Machoke because I can't do a Mach uh, Machamp. If not, then uh, Hitmonlee because I just love Hitmonlee. Hitmonlee is so fucking cool. Much better than Hitmonchan. Even though I feel like Hitmonchan is the better Pokemon because of the moveset, but I just love Hitmonlee. That dude, like the springy legs and shit with high jump kick? Oh, how can no one like that? Alright, one more. Yeah, that'll do it. Alright, now we can go into Mount Moon. We're gonna uh, heal up, and we're gonna see what Liberal Terminator as a Pokemon is. Are Pokemon that evolved via trade in your ROM? I no, I all I did was uh, download the emulator. I didn't do any cheats or switches or anything like that. So okay, uh, so let's switch out. Well, oh wait, no, Heart Assassin. Yeah, Heart Assassin at level 16. Whoops. Well, whatever, it's fine. Let's let's put him in the front. If it's a Geo dude, it's not a huge deal. It's a Zubat. All right, liberal. <laughs> uh, Fury attack? Leech life. Well, let's make sure I don't actually kill him. All right, liberal. <laughs> so many fucking flying types. All right, this is the path we have. <laughs> all right, all right, here we go. Lib. Oh. Uh. Lib term. <laughs> Lib term. <laughs> We're not going to get that whole name in, so Lib term. There you go. Now you're in the box. Uh, so, yeah, let me do the, uh, the update here and add another one to the box. Zubat. Lib Turb. <laughs> Lib Turb. Uh, what was it, level 10? And it was Mount Moon? A lot of mountains in this game. Alrighty. And let's update everybody's uh, levels, right? So, uh, I know that he's level 15. Oh, he's still stuck at 15. So, you're at 16. I'm just gonna say, like, for the safety or just the whatever of this. I'm just going to put everyone at 16. And I'll just make the changes as we go. Uh, 16. Because that's kind of like what I want for everybody right now anyway. 16. Oh, well. <laughs> You're not quite there yet. I'll redo the update once I get um, uh, Salt Dragon uh, up there. Alright, let's bring this back. Beam just keeps getting flying types. I f oh god, it's it's a fucking mess, dude. Hey, I'm not. I don't know about you, 
But this track sounds better sped up. Oh, hey! Ooh! Yo, stop! I like that. I don't know why I like that, but I like that. That's OD. I like it when it's sped up. That song is, really isn't all that great, but that shit sped up actually is not that bad. It's kind of fire. That's kind of cool. All right, Heart, we need to get you up to level 16. And then we can start leveling up our um, our uh, magic card. Gonna take a while, but it's really important. <laughs> we, it's really important we get a fucking Gyarados. And those are level 10s in there, so honestly, like, he could probably get, like, quite a bit of experience um, early on. Even though it's, like, switching in back and forth, it'll still go by fast, so. Zubats are actually really good despite being super common. Crobat. Crobat is awesome. Yeah, I like Crobat. Crobat is cool. But then, um, what is the last evolution in, like, the, um... Oh, I'm sorry, it's Golbat. I like Golbat, but Crobat is the one that's purple that's in the other um, gen. Yeah. Crobat is really fucking cool. I won't lie about that. It just takes a while for you to even get there. Because don't you have to get uh, Crobat as like a trade again? I think that's what it is. Yeah, there's some Pokemon that evolve via trades. Um, Machoke is one of them. Um, that goes into the champ. Um, Haunter for Gengar. Um, technically, Pikachu, Pokemon Yellow Pikachu. Because if you trade your Pikachu and Pokemon Yellow and you give it to someone in Pokemon Red, and then you evolve them into Raichu and then you get it back, technically that counts. Because that's the only way how you can get it to, uh, to Raichu. All right, so now you're level 16. All right, so now we can start leveling up uh, Magikarp and uh, Squirtle. So let's switch. You go. Oh, fucking hell. There you go. And then just for ease of use, switch that. Bam. Okay. Level 16 is pretty much. There's Paris. <laughs> it's, I guess it's a good thing we didn't get him, right? Uh, yeah, let's switch to you. Ah, stun four. Uh, tackle. Ow. 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 I'm not gonna bother with, um, I'm not gonna bother with, like, taking off the stun four. At the very least, that guarantees him to not get, uh, poisoned. That's good. And granted, like, he should be at a decent, uh, should be at a decent speed stat to where, like, it's not really that huge of a deal. And he's got, like, a good defense stat, so, like, I'm not worried about, like, losing that much shit. Unless he, like, just stops attacking. Like, that's another thing. I just need to make sure that I don't accidentally use, um, like, Splash or something. Because I'm just, like, mashing A or whatever. Alright, come on. Oh my fucking god. Alright, you know what, Mel? Get in there. Zio can't do it. I can rely on you. I can always rely on Mel. Here you go. Just do that. What the fuck? Zio, really? <laughs> fucking A. Spencer's gonna uh, MVP the game as that Gyarados. Fuck yeah, dude. Well, that's not even um, Spencer. That's, um, that's uh, Salty. Spencer is the other Pidgey. So... I mean, as bad as that is, you know, it's another pigeon. I should just use water gun. Why am I not doing that? There's like a lot of uh, moves with that shit. At least a lot of hits. I need to be really careful with like this fucking speed up shit, man. I don't want to do the wrong thing. I 
And that's actually not that bad as much uh, experience he's getting. Granted, he's at level 6. It's going to, like, really start to slow down. But that's okay. And just like that, Zeo is finally useful. No, I'm just kidding. Go about evolves with its happiness. Okay, well that I didn't know. I thought it was just um trading. Oh, you know, let's just do up and down. Oh my god, Zio, how the fuck is he not one-shotting these dudes? How is he not one-shotting a level 7? Oh my god. It's probably going up with its uh, defense. Still taking two hits of damage though, so that's good. But the fact that he's not one-shotting is so fucking annoying. I might have to like use somebody else. I gotta use Mel. <laughs> I can't at least rely on Mel to do damage. Oh my god, that was a crit. Oh, please. Oh, wait. What the fuck? Oh. His special attack went way up. Okay, so I'll use a little more water gun. Why not? <laughs> Heal me. <laughs> well, because I, I know that his uh, regular attack is uh, stronger. So I'm betting it that he can one shot with that. And there's a Geodude. There you go. I mean, I guess now with like that damage, I was really confused as to why he didn't actually like do damage before but i guess because with that level up and he evolved it just does more now so all right there it is all right no more tackles then there you go can i give julie the controller uh no this is my nuzlocke <laughs> i don't want her ruining it Always calling LeBron when things get dire. Yo, stop. <laughs> Damn, he's real. Man, you were Kobe, not fucking LeBron. I don't like LeBron. You are absolutely the Kobe Bryant right now. Fucking shooting threes and shit. Fade away. The fuck I'm talking about. Hey, I don't. I never really use Blastoise, so give me some credit. I don't really know, like, what Blastoise's, like, stats are for, like, when he goes to, like, the higher levels. I have no idea, like, what's better for him, so... Give me, give me, give me a little bit of, uh, give me a little bit of leeway. I thought he was going to be more physical just based off, like, the early levels of Squirtle, but clearly that's not true. Wait, so there's same type attack bonuses in this game? Oh, magic carps at our uh, salty dragons at level eight. <laughs> He's getting up there, man. Slowly but surely. Once he gets to level ten, I'll start doing some uh, trainer battles. Yeah, let let's go heal real quick because I'd rather just not get a nasty crit or something. You know, who knows? But once he gets to level ten, then we'll start doing some trainer battles, and then I guess level him up that way. We should be fine with like. Leveling up everybody at the same time anyway, so. The fact that we got him at level 5, though, is, like, just annoying. And I think that he just, like, doesn't get that much experience as he gets higher. Because it makes it harder to, like, get to, uh, Gyarados. I guess Evolving Zeo does mean something. I guess, right? At the very least, I can rely on a fucking Rattata to do damage. I gotta rely on a fucking War Turtle to do something. <laughs> Oh my god. 
god. Uh, if my move, hold on. If my move is the same type as your Pokemon's type, it will do more damage. That is legit something I never knew. I just thought that because it's just whatever type it is, you should just stick with those move sets. I didn't know that they actually had typing advantages to being themselves. So like fighting types will do more damage with fighting moves rather than normal with fighting. I legit didn't know that. That's one new thing about Pokemon I never knew about. Blastoise is defensive as the high defense and SP. Yeah, absolutely. I knew that because obviously the turtle, it could tank the hits. But I didn't know like what it was going to be more towards, like regular attack or special attack. Just based off like the levels of, um, what is it, uh, Squirtle, I assumed regular attack. So I just wanted to do uh, tackle. So. It does 50% more damage. It's short for stab. That's what stab is? I keep hearing what stab was. I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. I'm not going to learn what this fucking thing is. Okay. What, what is that abbreviated? Like, what does that mean abbreviated? What is it? Like, same type attack bonus? Is that what it is? I'm legit just asking because that's just what it sounds like it could be. There's level 17. Let's go heal. I'll get to 18 with um, Zeo and then like start leveling up the other guys. But again, we need to start doing these uh, other trainers. Is that why Julie voted Charmander? Wait, did she actually do Charmander? Oh fuck. I did splash. <laughs> uh oh. It's a good thing that uh, his defense is actually quite nice. Sa wow, I actually, I legit didn't know what it was called, like abbreviated, but I got it right the first try. Wow. I guess it's like when you explained it and then you said stab. I guess like that's how common sense would lead me to that, I guess. Don't stab me, bro. <laughs> Wild Pokemon before a War Turtle uses. Right? <laughs> Charizard gets stabbed, fire, and flying. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, that I never knew that. Then there you go. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I guess that's the same thing with um, with uh, Venusaur because of uh, poison and grass. What's my War Turtle's ability? Uh, do they change abilities when they evolve? I don't even know. It might actually say the same. Uh, Torrent uses... Oh, it's Torrent. Yeah, so I guess it's the same as they evolve. So it raises water damage in a pinch, which I guess that means that at like a low enough life, like critical mode or, or critical health. Does it have the adapt adaptability? Uh, the ability is... Well, yeah, I just showed you, right? Um, torrent, yeah. So it doesn't have that. Uh, what is your level at right now? Yeah, he's got like maybe like five more fights before leveling up. So stab is 100% more giving you a total of two. Wow. So if you had that ability, stab moves would be even stronger. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you're going into, like, the well meta of, of, you know, Pokemon, which I never dove into. So, it's interesting, like, to, like, how they get, like, the best shit. But, for me, it's, like, gotta catch them all. <laughs> like, that was, like, how it was for me, you know? Not gotta get the best. <laughs> like, if that, that would be a totally different series if it was, like, something like that, you know what I mean? 
Yeah, apparently, uh, yeah, I knew that they could have different abilities, but I don't know, like, what each ability does, or even, like, where it even, like, kind of randomized, like, to get the best one or anything, so. I'd rather be, like, kind of, like, left in the dark with that. Okay, so there's level 10. So let's go start, um, fighting some of these trainers. Because now finding, like, the wild Pokemon should start getting a little bit more tedious. So now, like, at least, like, I'll start moving along with not Moon and, um, getting some good shit. Again, I'll keep on Zeo Moon until we, um, switch to, like, level 18, and I'll switch to somebody else. And most likely, um, uh, since we're gonna run into Geodudes, I guess, um, Butterfree or Alina. Oh, I'm using Splash, because I'm not really paying attention. I also have potions too, so like I'm not gonna really like go running back to the Pokemon Center every time. I do have a couple potions I could use. Bullet Seed. I don't think anyone can use that. Nope, oh, it's Barry. Nope, <laughs> I figured. I'll have to wait until we get like a grass type or something. Alright, so you're bug? So. Oh yeah. Level 11 is kind of shit. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Uh, Ontario, so get yourself in here first. Don't do this. Thank God. All right, cool. Wait a minute, you should only know Harden, so... Oh, wow, Th good thing I didn't actually kill it. So then I'll switch back to uh, Magikarp, and then let him get the half experience. Or Salt... <laughs> dude, Salt Dragon. <laughs> oh my god, dude, I can't wait for him to know. Like, because he's not in the chat or anything, and he I'm sure he doesn't know that I'm doing Nuzlocke. Nor even the fact that he's even a Pokemon to begin with, so I can't wait for him to see this shit. Hey, he's going to be like OD later, so I don't want to hear it. Tor only uh, ups your stab if your health is below one third. Oh, yeah, so I wouldn't even want to risk it too much, you know? That sounds like it's Kingdom Hearts -y, you know, like instead of it being half to get more experience, it's um, a third, so that sucks. That That's kind of garbage. Oh, well, it is what it is. Paralyze heal. Well, cool. Got one of those. <laughs> oh, she's got the Clefairy. Which means that most likely she's got Metronome. Not that that really is going to mean much because Metronome is random, but Malizy, get in there. Here's the thing. Metronome could also have like self-destruct and shit, so that could be really bad. Hyper Fang. Bite that bitch. Oh, wow. Encore. Hey, you want me to bite you again, bro? I got you. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> Encore could really be useful, like, if they do, like, disable or some shit. But, nah. Not when I'm going to bite the fuck out of you. I'm just going pretty slow because I don't want to go down these ladders or anything. <laughs> I got to wake you up, Mel. I got to wake you up, bro. Um... Yeah, Ontario, so we can still kind of keep around. Oh, yeah, because uh, Leech Life is a bug move. Yeah, so I could, like, have these guys against the Zubats, too. It's <laughs> time for me to sweep already? Maybe. I mean, most of these fights, unless, like, they're rock types, I'm probably going to throw you in for a little bit. Because I kind of need you to level up, so... Ah, don't sneak up on me. You looked at me. Ooh, Magnemite. Okay. So, fuck. Here's our first wall. Oh.
electric and steel, so... Metal sound, what the fuck is that? Special defense, oh shit. That's not good. Hopefully it's special defense, it's not that high. Not very effective, or steel, right? Oh fuck, okay, so no, I can't keep her in. Poison? And it doesn't affect. I need to switch. She, oh, yeah, one thunder shot could kill her. Fuck all that, because it's harsh. Alright, I'll put you in, coach. I'll put you in. I'll put you in, Mel. Hyper Fang. Bite the fuck out of it. Ooh, close. Okay, it should die off of another thing. Oh, yeah, you. Ooh, that's garbage. That's garbage. Eat shit. Okay. 69. Yeah, let's go, Salt. Baltor, free. Free. Eat shit. Eat shit. Alright, get that free experience, Mel. Good shit. See, I should have relied on you, bro. I that That's on me that I doubted your skill. That's me. That's my fault. Uh, I would have risked using Water Gun. Yeah, I guess. That's fair. I didn't really think about, like, the special defense for, uh... For, uh, Zeo. Like, if I find another one like that, then yeah, I'll, I'll run that risk. Oh, let's grab this. Oh, hey, rare candy. Okay, cool. Let's... Well, he did just level up. What is... 444? Let's hold on to it. Let's hold on to it for now. Thundershock shouldn't have killed your turtle. Yeah, I just wasn't really wanting to take that risk, you know? I thought that uh, confusion would go through um, uh, steel types, but I guess it doesn't. I probably just forgot about that because I just don't remember that at all. Alright, so I should use uh, Potion on Zeo because I don't feel like running around and going back to the... Po um, yeah, I, I don't feel like running around. Just use one of those. Why not? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I didn't think that, uh, I didn't think that he would actually be that useful in, like, something like this. But the fact that he's, like, OD right now with, like, his attack, it's, like, so good. <laughs> Let me OCV this fool. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll get you in that. I'll get you in for, um, for Misty. Because you'll probably do really good against, uh, both the Staryu and the Starmie. Granted, they're pr probably their, uh, physical defense might be high, but your speed could outspeed them, so... Oh shit, I should have switched back to Magic Heart. No, don't kill! Fuck. Oh well. Oh, that wasn't that much experience, but that's still that's something I would have liked for him. Alright, so back to you, because you'll definitely take the hit. And you missed too? Wow. Alright, get back in the heart. What if a human ate the rare candy? He grows a year older. I think that's what I thought about, like, when I was a kid. Um, like, what would they actually do? It's like, oh, they just get a year older. Because <laughs> that's what I kind of assume, like, what evolving was. It's just, like, Pokemon getting older, you know? Like, with more experience and shit. Escape rope. Well, we gotta sell our escape ropes, because those are banned. I thought that was gonna be a trainer. You are a trainer. Right? Yep. Ooh, we got our first Oddish. Honestly, I like Oddish. Oddish is rad. Not really a grass that I would, like, indefinitely want, but, like, she's solid. 
Uh, that lowers evasiveness, right? Or, uh, yeah. Wow, I can't believe I remember that. Yeah, keep doing that. I don't care. Oh, no. Like, I just... I just don't really like um, Rattata's defense stat, you know? It's just... I don't rely on it to, like, tank hits, like, at all, so... Bellsprout. Oh, yo, Bellsprout with Victory Bell? Oh, Bellsprout's OD, too. I like both of them. Especially when you see that mouth go. <laughs> all right, now that means I can't leave, right? So... Yep. So that's unfortunate. I gotta hold that for a bit. I can't do anything else. Well, rip that fucking idea. I guess we're getting liberal. Let's make that change. You are dead. And you are now into the team, liberal. Ugh. Can I put it like what level it died? Uh, what was it, level 11? Alright, moving on. Sorry, Salt Dragon. Yeah, rip the fucking Gyarados. I got wrapped, like, when I switched him in, like, the first turn, and I couldn't escape. So then he did growth, and I still couldn't leave. And they did Vine Whip, and then one shot at me. So. That really fucking sucks. I thought at least it could take one hit, and I couldn't heal, so, like, that's not an option. <sighs> Alright. Let's at least heal since we're here. Well, at least we can up Z uh, Zubat, I guess. That wasn't Heart. That was, um... That was, uh... Salt Dragon. So... I guess we'll level up Liberal. At least he can do something. <laughs> Team on it. <laughs> he just didn't... No, it's okay. I wonder how long I can get, um, or how fast I can get, like, levels. Oh, that's low. Oh, fuck. I mean, I could, I guess I could try and have him level up outside. Yeah, maybe. I guess with the leech life. 
that's all he has is like leech life and astonish or some shit. So yeah, let, let me check. Let me check what he has. Poison and flying. Speed is good. At least better than everything else. Yeah. Ghosts. So I can't even do physical. Oh, all right. Well, let's see. What what can we do in this route? It's gonna peck me. But... Yeah, it doesn't affect. Yup, I can't really do much with this. Fuck out of here. Oh my god, that's gonna. Oh. Might actually be better for just him to just get levels here because he might be able to one shot some of these guys. Well, not one shot, but take him down himself. Fuck, man. That really. That sucks. That's our first death, and that's a bad one. How much can I. I get one, right? And then scratches three. Astonish at least can flinch them. There you go. Alright. And that's 50. Wow. Fuck. That's half my life gone. I mean, at the very least, he won't be able to get poisoned, so that's good, I guess. Fear the Thunder Mouse. I kind of wish I had him now, you know? Or even the fucking Nidoran, but whatever. I guess I could try astonishing other zoo bats. Maybe that might be a thing. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Yeah, I, I guess Mount Moon might be just be the better option. That's gonna take way too long. Let's see what I could do with at least one other um, zoo bat. How will I find Skitty for Julie? Skitty is not in Gen 1, so we won't be able to see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You keep doing that while I do Astonish. Sounds good to me. Ooh, with that crit? Not bad. Okay. 61. Yeah, it's worth it to just be in here. Supersonic. Nice. There you go. All right, cool. Supersonic can actually just be useful in, in general, obviously. Oh my god. A leech life battle with like only restoring one health. <laughs> oh, he just crit me. Okay, hopefully we don't get crit again. Yeah, I guess that's the route that we have to take. Just go up against the fucking Zubats, because that's the that's the fastest way we can get level ups right now. Yeah, Skitty's like, uh, second gen, I think. I don't think it's in gen 3. Like, debuted, I mean. That's not great. I don't know what its moves are, but... Bug sucks. <laughs> I mean, I love bug Pokemon, but, like, man, some of them are just ass. Like, their moves, especially. Yeah, I keep doing that. Oh, you know what? I could... Uh, Supersonic, yeah. I don't know why I'm not doing that, too. Oh, wow. Okay, I guess we'll just keep missing. There you go, nice. Yeah, that'll help. Snapped out. Okay, wow. 110. That's still really good, though. That's off of one fight, but that might take a while. you hit yourself hit yourself 
Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Fuck. Confusion sometimes sucks. It always usually works in their benefit. Never mind. Hair across with Megahorn? Yeah, that, that was a strat. Yeah, that was a strat. I remember that. Here, Supersonic. Oh my god. Please. Please. Why is it like always the third time? Thank you. Hit your fucking self in the face. <sighs> wow, this game fucking hates me. Oh, I didn't mean that. Whoops. Well, we're back. We're back to our normal health. Unless I can get like a crit, then it's like what two life. <laughs> so it's not worth it. 55 accuracy. It seems like a 70, but fuck, that's rough. I just gotta like take the life as I can from here. Why not? Since I'm gonna be here for the long haul. I'd rather just do a leech life. Because I don't... It didn't even have, like, a tackle, right? All it has is, like, mud sport and fucking defense curl. So, yeah, I'm fine with this. Yeah, I guess Geodudes are kind of free as long as I just do leech life. Oh, there's a tackle. <laughs> now you want to do tackle after all this time, dude? One more should do it. Yeah, that, that was kind of free. I can't believe that they're just not hitting me. Confuse Ray is a better Confuse move. Uh, over... Oh, Confuse... Oh! I'm mistaking the two. Yeah, you're right. I I was thinking, um... Confuse Ray. Yeah. I don't know why I thought the two were the same. They're clearly not. 69. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, we still gotta, like, level up a bit for him. I'll get him to, like, 16, and then we'll, I guess, fight some more trainers in here. That really fucking sucks, dude. I'm really sad. <laughs> like, that really fucking sucks. There's a crit. That's nice. A fucking Gyarados 2 with, like, the dragon-type moves and stuff. Oh. That would have been super nice, but... Hey, that doesn't mean that I can't get another Magikarp, because, you know, I could fish for one, so that's a possibility. Oh, yeah, I forgot Leech Life. <laughs> Leech Life is dude, yeah. Nice crit, too. Ooh, that does five now. Okay, so are you going to actually do more tackles here, or... You know what? I can have um, I can have Golbat as like my toxic with like wing attack type thing. I could do that. Oh wow! Okay, so Paris actually is like the best to use Leech Life on because yeah, super effective. Ah no, stun spore. Oh well. Well, that was nothing. <laughs> Thanks for that. I'm just gonna heal that up. Alright, what level are you now? You didn't even- Yeah, you didn't even gain a fucking level after all that. Fucking liberal. Just <laughs> stalling. Oh my god, another stun spore. Oh my god! <sighs> I'll 
heal it. I, I, fuck. I can't believe stun spore, stun spore. At least it's fast, so whatever. Oh, why did I do that? Sonic, I forgot to do that. Uh, the only three dragon type moves it learns is Dragon Rage, Twister, and Dragon Dance. So you're not. Oh, really? I mean, maybe in, like in the later gens, like it has just better stuff that you can get. But I knew Dragon Dance and Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage is like the 40 HP one, right? Dragon Dance is the only good one. What is uh, Dragon Dance exactly again? What does that do? Is that just up at like it's uh, attack for like the next turn or something like that? Oh, Dragon Claw. Yeah, because yeah, it wouldn't actually have. Yeah, because it's got fins. Yeah, there's no like Dragon Bite, right? I, it can do Crunch. I mean, Crunch is cool, I guess. It can do Ice moves, I think. I can do like Ice Beam. Uh. It can do surf. <laughs> I, I'm trying to remember exactly what Giridus can do. Giridu. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna bring it to level 14, and then we'll we'll do some trainer battles with it. Not to like actually like have it hurt anything, but at least like take like half the experience because this is taking a while. Oh fuck! I'm out. Uh, supersonic. Hurt yourself, bitch. Nope. Okay. Cool. All right. This stalemate. Uh, hurt yourself. Hurt yourself, bitch. Okay, there you go. Hurt yourself, bitch. And, okay, well, it's dead. There you go. <laughs> oh, it's attack and speed. Oh, that's right, that's right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually, yeah, that's super good. I would want to do that, like, uh, as, like, its first move. Because the opponent will already have its attack lower. So it'll, like, take a hit while I'm upping the attack and speed. So that way, if I can't outspeed it the first turn, I might be able to the next one, you know? It's actually really strong. All right, now, now Liberal's starting to do some damage. Oh, yeah, this is just Leech Life City. Yeah, don't worry. don't worry, I'm just mashing X through this one. It does give me the most experience, but it takes the longest as far as, like, our fights. But you mainly want it for Hyper Beam? Yeah, Hyper Beam too. I kind of had, like, my Snorlax as, like, the Hyper Beam thing, but Hyper Beam is, like, a special attack thing, right? That's probably why I never really, like, bothered to, like, think about that. Because he has, like, more of, like, an attack stat, so... Gyarados is more, um... Oh, wow, a Clefairy. Hey, look at you. Oh, okay, I'll do another uh, Supersonic. There you go. There you go. Okay, do, do it again. I wonder if that actually like, takes down my PP. It does, I think. I think it does. I wonder how much uh, Clefairy could do, or not do to me, but like how much uh, experience I'll get from killing it. Hit yourself? Nice. Okay, cool. 77. Uh, eh, it's not that much. Yeah, I'd rather honestly just fight these Zubats, because I'm already like doing way more damage than it could do to me, and like if it just leech lifes, it's like it's better for me because it does the least amount of damage, so yeah, I'd rather just that. Yeah, that's the fastest and we get like a really good amount so yeah 14 i feel like that's good enough for now and i'll start doing uh, more trainer battles as we go along through here or just like you know switching out and doing all that so high beam is a normal type move that means it's a physical oh look at that okay so yeah so would have been good with that cool i'll keep that in mind hopefully i can actually keep around the snorlax Uh, 
Alright, so I'm gonna go down this stair first, or this, this ladder rather. Please don't stun spore me. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Oh. Okay. What do we got? Sand Shrew. Um. He'll probably only know, like, Scratch and, like, Sand Attack. Do that first. It becomes special in Gen 4? Okay. The one that I didn't play, so yeah. <laughs> Works for me. I had still only one, but it's like two damage each time? Yeah, sand attack. I pretty much do that. Hopefully we can get a sand true, because I fucking love sand slash. Yeah, I like uh, Team Rocket a lot, um, but like Team Magma and Team Aqua are really fucking cool too. Mainly their costumes are cool. I'm more of like a fan of Team uh, Magma. That's quite a bit of damage. I could probably kill this one. And yeah, the Sand Attack is not really helping. Oh my god, please. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm going to switch out anyway. So hopefully I can just do as much damage as I can. Yep, of course. I really don't want to switch out. Ugh. One more time. No flinch. Okay. If I get hit once more, then yeah, I gotta switch. Because this it's not working out, the the not hitting it. Yeah, I gotta. I have to now. Um Yeah, get yourself in their heart. Don't worry. Uh, when, when things fall apart, don't worry. I got you, bro. Uh, I think that Fury Attack might be able to do it. Nah, that's all right. Now nah, Fury Attack should do it. Ooh, and a crit. Yeah, nice. Don't even have to rely on the second hit. 17. He evolved to, like, Fury at, like, the 20s, if I remember correctly. There's a Zubat. Uh, it's got low Astonish. It's not worth it. And, yeah, I forgot. It's got Leech Life, so it's not really worth it to switch to anything else. Yeah, get out of here, fuckface. <laughs> You're slapping him up? Hell yeah, dude. Level 17. I got you, bro. All right. Uh, so, unfortunately, uh, now I can't even really use Zubat, like, at all. Right? Yeah, it only has one Astonish, so I gotta, like, do the switching shit. Uh, let's keep Heart Assassin until he gets to, like, level, you know, 18. 
Ah, oh, fucking hell. Yeah, 55 accuracy. Yup, 55 accuracy. Oh, that missed. There we go. I want to like just make sure that everyone gets at a good level. Ah, I love it. I love it. Star piece. What the fuck is a star piece? Oh, those get me sold. Okay, got it. Got it. I got. I got this. I got this. Any Parises are free. Unless you do Suns 4, then that's going to be really annoying. Alright, let's get out of here. And now that I know that that area is done... I mean, I could try. Current the confusion, so... Do a little bit of extra chip damage. I'm what you would call a combo machine. I guess, I guess so, bro. It's certainly working. Yeah, at least I'm getting like the health back so I can just take these hits, but astonish. Wow, that didn't even kill it. Okay. That did it. All right, let's get out of here, get him to get his PP back. Well, I gotta switch out anyway. Uh, back in there you go, Heart. Hit A, what the fuck? Paris has an ability that can inflict uh, any status on you um, at random, so I would be... Wow, really? So it could just freeze me? <laughs> That's kind of funny. That's actually kind of funny. Is that exclusive to him? Hey, level 15. Cool. He's getting up there. Uh, so we fought that bitch. Oh my god, that crit. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. That was a good ass crit. Holy shit. I don't think now it can kill. Oh, oh, maybe with a crit it will. Uh, let's not go down there yet. I think there's like a uh, invisible item somewhere around here. Astonish being a ghost type, so at least we have something of that. Not for long, though. Alright, we got a fight. Rattata. Supersonic and uh, Leech Life. Let me just see what that does. I mean, if you can actually hit it. Hopefully we don't get a crit off. Okay, even if it does crit, I think we'll be all right. Nice miss, okay. If it has another Rattata, I'll go for like another uh, Supersonic and Leech Life. One more hit yourself. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. Uh, I mean, it'll take the experience here and then switch to the other thing in case I can't kill it. GG Zubat. I mean, it killed it, yeah. Another one. If I get the Super Sun... Uh...
Uh, he's not going to be happy about that one. He is not going to be happy about that one. Well, let's switch it. <laughs> See ya. Don't want to be ya. Oh, no, that's not you, Mal. Oops. See ya. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Get in there. Yeah, you're both dead. <laughs> what was it, level? Um, what was it, level 15? Yeah, I think it was all 15. All right, whatever. Rest in peace. Now I got to go get uh, Suspenser. And I got two Pidgeys in my party. No, you know what? I got to hold. I got to I gotta deal with the five I got. Because we're going to go into another new area with a new Pokemon. So I'm going to hold off on getting Suspenser out of the box for now. I just have to, like, actually play it safe here. I told you guys. I'm not going to try and just do, like, you know, easy shit. I'm going to try and go for, like, the harder shit. That was, like, legit my last turn with it. Just try and Supersonic and then dip him. So... That didn't work. Uh, hard catch stuff in there. Oh well, liberal's gone. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Oh well. As quickly as he got into the party, uh, dies. So that wasn't a crit, was it? Was it a crit? Oh my god! Please. All right. Fury attack. I can't even fucking rely on that. Fuck. I'm going to be 100% real. I didn't think I was going to keep Zubat for a long time anyway. He was just, like, kind of there in case I wanted to do, like, the toxic route. But there are other options to do that. So I'm not... I'm more, like, still hurt about, like, losing the magic card. But I can still get another one. And, hell, Zubats are still a thing, too. So... All right. Uh, we got to leave. We have to leave now. So we got to go put him in the grave. It wasn't a crit. Mm. Oh shit, come on. <laughs> Can I put a uh, liberal to sleep? All right, I'll just get everybody to 18 here because that's kind of like what the, uh, the deal was. That's still decent damage, even though it's on a rock type. Oh, wow. That was a crit, too. Okay, I'll take it. He did, like, the last one that would have killed, he missed. Yeah. Oh, wow. I went to heal, and I forgot. Oh, shit. This, uh, I have to run. Yeah, I have to run. That, this one doesn't count. See ya. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to put him away. Uh, let's move him. Alright, see ya. <laughs> see ya later. Okay, now we're out of here. Uh, yeah. Gotta keep going. I mean, in all seriousness, like, thank God I don't actually have to worry about a fucking Zubat. Because, like, Zubats really do suck up until, like, you can learn some good shit. I like how, like, the... My whole fucking team is just flying bats and shit. <laughs> like, fuck. Variety, please. Fuck. I'm trying to break the rules. Nah, nah, nah. Def not. I was gonna ask if you uh gonna do the nug Huh? What is that? The nugget bridge exploit? What is that? Yeah, I didn't know we were gonna be fucking uh bird keepers, right? Is that what they're called in this game? Bug ke uh bird keepers? Bird watchers? Ooh, you are a trainer, aren't you? Oh, that was a crit? Wow. 
I feel sorry for you. Yeah, okay, well... I don't think it should have, like, rock throw or anything, so... On the off chance, I'm gonna do, like, a sand attack, just in case. Where you get infinite nuggets and then you sell them oh well yeah you can't do that yeah i guess you can't because if you lose then yeah you can't really get that i didn't know that was a thing cool yeah too bad that's not allowed all right i'm looking for crits here now i want to make sure that ontario so takes the uh like the experience for free if not then like i'll switch to um uh lena and then have her get some of the experience too Come on, give me a crit. Get me a crit. It definitely takes a while when all they do is just up their normal defense. Yeah. They, even, like, they don't do that much damage to me, so, like, it's fine. Hell, what did I have, like, 39 health at the start? Only did, like, 11, and I'm, like, killing it, so it's not a bad trade. Yeah, it only does five, so yeah, that's not bad at all. Wow, that didn't even level him up. Sick. I mean, as long as you don't defense curl. Yeah, do that. Uh, and there it is. I, I think I'll just take care of this one. Let him let Ontario so get to 18, and then I'll switch out to um, to Lena. Get her. Oh, there's the crit. Finally, fuck. Man, why is Jiu's got like the biggest ass hands? Oh, you know what I also, like, thought about for, like, Geodude to, like, go into, like, its evolutions? Graveler is such, like, a cool, like, uh, evolution form. And then you get to Golem, stupid ass. <laughs> He's just a fucking boulder with a fucking face on it. That's so bad, dude. Like, that fucker's design is so bad. Holy shit. Yeah, Pidge I guess since it's at, uh, 16, I guess it levels up at 18 to get Pidgeotto. Yeah, Pidgeotto is fucking radical. And there's the Onyx. We'll see ya. Don't wanna be ya. Uh, oh, she might actually have a rock throw. Onyx might actually have that. Oh, bind? Okay, cool. I'm talking about design-wise. Boulder has a neck at least. It's a rock! It's a rock! You want a rock to have a neck? <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? It doesn't really make much sense to me. <laughs> Been a while since we heard that one. Yeah, I think there's like a random item out here. There you go. Moonstone. Too bad that's boring and we can't do anything with it. All right, well, Pidgeotto's now part of our party. Good shit. Uh, but let's switch him out. Um, yeah, let's get Lena in there. And then we'll go back to Malizi, and then we'll get Hardest Ass back in there. Uh, wow, okay. I do have a, um, I do have a Paralyzed Heal, but how many do I actually have? I have four. Let's wait for the next battle and see how I feel. Yeah, it's fine. I can at least, like, kill this one. 
Yeah, that, that's fine. As long as I can fight um, more Zubats, I'm not gonna. Too bad revives are useless. I can at least sell them. Yeah, I keep doing that. That's gonna like allow me to just get free levels. Gotta cook stuff in case I don't come back. Uh, thanks for the stream. Oh, of course, dude. I got you. Uh, we're gonna try and, like, keep these up, um, like, once a week. So, you know, we'll see how far we get today, and then we'll take it from there. Alright, here's another battle. Another Rattata, as per usual. Stun Spore, I guess? Yeah. I don't want it, like, really hitting me all the time. I don't think I'm going to do that much damage to it regardless, so. Oh, wow, never. And it's confused? Yeah, there you go. Nice. Good shit. All right, cool. That was worth it, I guess. All right, what's next? Sancher. Okay. Uh, poison powder, since I don't think I can, um, paralyze it since it's ground. May as well, like, do the continuous damage. Ow. What was that, 11? Or, what was that, 9, maybe? Yeah, that was perfect. As long as I can keep it poison. Even though I may, I may not be able to hit it, I can at least, um, you know, have it hit itself with the, uh, with the poison. Yeah, that was definitely the right call. Am I going to choose Lord Helix? I much prefer Kabuto with Kabudops, but for the memes, I will go for uh, Helix. I will go for Helix. Alright, well, that was done. That was free. Uh, let's keep going. Ooh, nice crit, too. Oh, come on. <laughs> I couldn't even get to the, ro uh, the last rocket guy. Oh, hit yourself? Oh, well. Now hit yourself. Oh. Now hit yourself. Right. <laughs> I'll kill you. Another Rattata. Okay. Same strategy. Um, I don't want it to hit me, so I'll stun for it and then get the possibility of, uh, you know, paralyze. That's not that much damage, so I'll use a couple more tackles. Physical defense, that's fine. Well, there, get your quick attack. Why not? All right, nice. I won't fuck around with this one since we're at half health. Oh, it doesn't even matter. Free. Doesn't matter. Eat shit. Yeah, really close to uh, getting her to level up. All right, let's uh, not switch, but let's have her heal real quick. Got a free potion. There you go. Yeah, I think I'm all right with this. Let her level up and then take it from there. There's got to be an item here. Yay, another Moonstone. What? What Pokemon can evolve through Moonstones? The Nidorans? Jigglypuff and Clefairy, right? Let's just save too. Again, I just want to be sure that I don't crash the game. Beer! Grimer. I forgot Grimer existed. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, that would be some shit if we got some Grimer. 
don't even know where we could even get one. At the fucking mansion, I think we can get Grimers. Like one other place, maybe? I have no idea. Zach plays games. What's up, dude? Welcome to the stream. I appreciate it. What's up, man? All right, level 18. Uh, let's see. Try to learn supersonic. Fuck off. Fuck that. No, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, stop learning that shit. I'd rather take the chance with confusion doing confuse. Um... All right, Mel. Mel, get your ass in there. I think that allows it to get better with electric moves. Some shit like that. Ooh, it outspeeds me? Oh, interesting. I'm gonna bite the fuck out of you. <laughs> oh, uh, well, you die anyway. There you go. Nice. You're playing through Leaf Green too? Okay, cool, cool. I played it like multiple times as a kid, but this is my first time doing a Nuzlocke run. So, I'm gonna try and do the best I can, honestly. Uh, okay, so coughings are actually like, uh, they're a little bit scary because they also uh, have the ability to self-destruct. So, I can't, and Weezings too. So like, th those are the four that I have to really worry about as far as like explosions. I should still be fine. Yeah, I'll be able to like take an antidote and then get the hell up out of here All right level 17 Speed's at 28 attacks 28. Okay, still defense is pretty bad. So All right, so let's take the uh, antidote just cuz safety and Pokemon Switch back to heart. He's got the most health and I can just you know level him up Lord Helix. Yay. I Would have liked the other one, but you know memes Yeah, I guess I could just um, fury attack because Granted I'm just like doing normal damage at least I can hit this multiple times so it's not really that bad that I'm taking like these five hits of damage. It's really not that bad. Oh, but the defense scrolls. Yeah, you know what? It's better to just do that anyway. Even though like also like it doesn't hit 100%, I'd rather just take the chance. Yeah, there you go. We only took one hit. It's really not that bad. Another stupid ass Paris. Where, like, can you tell me where the Lord Helix thing comes from, honestly? Like, I legit have no clue. Route 4. We can't get a new Pokemon here. Well. Alright. <laughs> That's okay. I'm not doing Nuzlocke. I never tried to do one before. I'm just doing regular. Okay, okay, cool, cool. I mean, I've done... I just play this game casually. I'm just a very, very casual Pokemon fan. But for the stream purposes, I'm doing a Nuzlocke. So, you know... I'm doing the best I can. Oh, hey. You guys aren't? You guys aren't a battle? Wait, what's the move you're trying to... Mega kick. And you're mega punch, right? Uh... What's better? I'd rather do the one that, like, has, like, better accuracy. Well, I guess I could find out, like, right now what this is. So this is Mega Punch, right? So that's 85, 80. No, hold on. Oh, shit. Just make this fast, dude. I guess Mega Kick? It might be better? Oh lord. Oh wow. They're both not good. Five mega kick. Yeah, fuck that. I rather I rather get the mega punch instead of the tackle. I guess that's better, at least for now. Oh. Oh my god, please. If I clicked the wrong one, it would have been so sad. Okay. Uh, 
There's gotta be like a Mr. Adam somewhere. Raspberry. Uh huh. I get it. All right. What is a raspberry? Oh. Oh wow! I forgot about melting. Wow. I forgot about like melting the fucking berries together. Wow. What the fuck was that? Roar? Was that roar? Ill. Ill. Fuck off. I'm. <laughs> I am so selling you. This is Route 4. We already have something from Route 4. <sighs> Fuck. Alright. I love you, Sandshrew. A whole lot. Sorry, bud. Fuck. If I didn't get the Magikarp, I would've gotten a, a free Sandshrew, pretty much. Fucking hell. Or A, a Spearow, but A. You would have been in the roulette anyway. Fuck off. Alright, there's level 18. Uh, Mel should be able to... Switch, yeah. Should be able to take a hit and, like, kill these things. I have full faith. Ow. That was nine. Okay, fuck that. <laughs> Never mind. I can always come back. Yeah, I can always come back. Oh boy. All right. So what's 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 next? We could fight. Yeah, we can't leave here, right? Yeah, we can't leave because we need to go up to. Um... Yeah, we can't go there. There is like a free item up here, though, right? I don't, I don't need to know about that. Uh, there is a random item out here somewhere. I can almost smell it. Hey, there's a rare candy. Okay, cool. Oh, boy. All right. Now we're getting into the fucking rival fight. Um, is level 18 good enough? What are we at on time? Um... Uh, we might be able to get to Bill, and then we'll wait for Misty until next time. I think that's how we'll just end it. We'll, we'll be able to get a, a new Pokemon in the next route anyway, so we'll, we'll see what that is. And then that next Pokemon is going to be Eccentric, so let's see what Eccentric can be. Alright, I need to do Quick Attack as I have fucking Rattatas. It really makes me so sad, dude. Fucking Sandshrews, man. Sandshrews are like, oh man, they're so fucking cool. Bite the shit out of this monkey. Quick attack you. Let's fuck off. He should also get like Super Fang too, right? At a certain level. Oh yeah, M Mel's got this free. Almost. Well, they've been, all these Sandshrews have been level six. Wow. All right, cool. All right, everything's level eighteen. Let's go save um, and then fight rival three. All right. Uh, what does he start with? I think he starts off with the uh, Pidgey. I guess I could keep Melon. No, I guess for the safety, I could put Zeo in. Yeah, I guess. Let's save it. Again, don't want this shit to crash or anything. <sighs> Alright, let's go. Four Pokemon. Alright, uh... Oh, that's good. That's actually pretty good. Ooh, and that's a crit too? I'll take it. Get a water gun to finish it off. Not bad start. Not bad. Oh, Pidgeotto, yeah. 
Bulbasaur, you didn't evolve this fucker? I need a uh, flying in here, so let's get heart. Yeah, let's get heart assassin here. You bitch. Alright, heart, come on. You gotta wake up. Wake up and kill him. Ow, seven damp. Wow, seven. That means that my uh, heart assassin defense kind of sucks. Oh no! Oh fuck. Okay, I have to switch, right? Because being seated only works on like one Pokemon at a time. Please, w thank you. Thank you for waking up. Half. You son of a bitch. It's a good thing I have yet another flying type. Yeah, eat shit, bitch. Uh, what's next? Abra? Oh, yeah, you don't do shit. So, this is free. Um, not bad. Yeah, let's get, let's get Hardest Ass back in there. Um, this will at least allow me to, like, get back from sleeping. Yeah, all he does is teleport. Yeah, so. I think he does that up until he gets to Kadabra, so. Bro, if I fucking run into an Abra and it runs away, I'm, oh my god. That's gonna fuck me up so bad. Cause I think in this area, you actually can get an Abra. So, oh boy, I didn't really think about that. And I'm not gonna fuck with that. So, hey, Mel, do the one-on-one, -on -one, bro. That's fine bite the shit out of you. Fuck off. <sighs> okay, we did it. Alright, another hurdle. What the fuck's a fame checker? Whatever, dude. Alright, uh, moving on. How come uh, it doesn't give you the option to switch out? It's because I put it on set. That's why. So yeah, I'm not allowing myself to. Uh, I'm not allowing myself to switch with like the idea of them showing me what they're gonna be switching into. So. All right. Uh. We're gonna want to like be like level 21. I feel like that's gonna be like a good area, like 21, 22. Oh yeah. Whoops. die. Not my fault. <laughs> Metapod, again, free. And free. All right. Yeah, I think actually 22 is going to be like where I want to go before I go into Misty, so. I don't know if I'll be able to like reach it in time, but it's fine. Fear attack might actually be better for the flying types. Ooh, uh, what is that? 14 for crit? So that probably like average 6 7. 
You want some chicken nuggets from that bridge? Dude, a fucking layout of like Popeye's nuggets? Oh, free. I would devour that shit easy. I need that uh, Chick-fil-A sauce though. That shit like enhances it so much. Either that or the uh, Wendy's nuggets. Wendy's nuggets are actually got like two. I hope no one says Burger King nuggets. Pursuit. It's better than Growl. Growl is like, well, Pursuit's like when they try to switch, you like hit them first, right? I think that's what that is. And it's a ghost type, so weird that he could get that. Yeah, fuck you, Bowsprout. You killed my fucking... You killed my Magikarp. Alright, there's Sandshrew. Should only, like, know, like, Sand Attack and Scratch and shit like that. Uh, Fury Attack, I guess. Come on, High Roller. High Roller bets, baby. High roller bets, baby. Oh, I'll take the four. And then Peck should be able to take care of it. Oh, maybe not with the defense core, though. Yeah, not quite. Maybe another, um, another Fury attack should be able to take care of it. High roller. High roller. Sick. Let's go. Ekans. Um. Yeah, since you're doing that. Oh, it's dark. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Please do some good damage. Oh. oh my god. I just see rap and I'm fucking losing it. You little bitch. Alright, I gotta go back and heal. I gotta go back and heal heart. <laughs> Fuck me. That was... Oh, that got scary. Oh boy. Alright. Actual hand sweaty there for a second. Does dark do good on poison? Normal effect, I guess. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. Only two. Wait a minute, you know Peck? Oh, I guess so, yeah, because of the teeth. I guess. And the horn. I didn't know that Nidoran could actually learn that. That's kind of cool. And Nidoran girl? Yep. And there it is. Uh, if I can't kill it within the next, like, two turns, I will, uh, I will switch. High roller, baby. Thank you. I think a peck might be able to do it. Yeah, I am swearing a lot, because it's stressful. <laughs> Give me a break. Yeah, I should be able to kill it now. Alright. I don't even need the antidote. I'll just go back and heal again. Very close to, um... Yeah, only like two more levels to get to level 22. So I'll stop on Hardest Ass and then move on to like Zeo or something. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go straight... Hey! You level up to Firo at level 20? Wow! <laughs> Alright, cool. What's up, Firo? Firo's cool, but, you know, I would much prefer Pidgeot. But it's cool. Uh, so now what's its, uh, what's its stats? 
38 attack, 36 defense, 33 special. Speed is fucking high. That is jacked. Uh, keen eye prevents loss of... Hey, look at that. Keen eye being at prevent loss of accuracy. Wow, that's actually really cool. So sand attacks are useless on it. Radical. Boo. Makey, wow. You really had to... You gotta throw a Makey at me when I got fucking Firo. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. It's over. Yo, what's up, 47? What's up, dude? We're doing a Nuzlocke run, so unfortunately we had two Pokemon die on us already, so... Fingers crossed that we don't have any more uh, deaths in the run. Do you want to join? Are you sure? Are you, you need convincing? I'll... Submit your resume. <laughs> Who died? Um, we had a Magikarp, it died, and we had a Zubat, and it died. So, that sucks. I really wanted the uh, Magikarp to go forward, but it was really bad. Yeah, no big deal, but, like, Magikarp going forward with the, um, uh, what is it? Uh, Gyarados is really important, but it is what it is, you know. Zubat, I wasn't really, like, caring too much, but... I at least wanted to at least have some sort of variety with, like, maybe a Toxic with the Flying or something. I don't know. Does Dark work on you? That's normal, I guess. <laughs> it is a big scam. They try to get you into fucking Team Rocket, bro. I'm not honestly there's like a um a mod or like a I guess an added game or something to where like you become a team rocket member through the Pokemon games and then you could just like steal people's Pokemon. It's actually a really cool concept. Alright, well Attract. That is super dope. Um We could give that Who are we gonna make a track though? Let's give that to Lena. We'll get rid of the tackle because I don't like the idea of having that. I'd rather, like, have the person be forced to, like, paralyze and attract that with the possible confusion. That that seems really cool. Um, yeah. Okay, that's good enough for me. Alright, this should be another trainer, yeah, so we can take care of him. Another Rattata. Not my Mel, though. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna get a new Pokemon in this route. Um, Bell Sprouts, um, Oddishes, and I think Abras are here. So, worst case scenario is we get an Abra, but that is still technically the best case scenario. Uh, worst case because it could teleport. So, we miss it. We miss our chance to get any Pokemon at all. So, that's the run. Uh, that's the risk we run with that. So, not much we could do about it. It's just it is what it is. We, we could have gotten a Nidoran, but we missed our opportunity, unfortunately. So, I actually really wanted a Sandshrew because I love Sandshrew. Um, unfortunately, we, like, got the worst case scenario of that, you know. It's not a huge deal. I know that we get, like, better chances of better Pokemon later, so. Oh, another net. Fuck you, Rap. Rap sucks balls. <laughs> Okay, so what could I put in to, like, not kill? Hmm. What could I put in to not kill? I guess heart with maybe pursuit. Those stats, though. I still have tackle with Mel, so you know what? We'll switch. We'll put Mel in. All right, what do we got? Bell sprout. I'll take a bell sprout. Nice. Okay. Vine whip at the start as well. So I'll take it. Nice, nice. And this is our eccentric Pokemon. Uh, so it's. Oh, 
I, I keep doing that. I don't know why. There you go. <laughs> it, it works perfectly. All right. So there's our team right now. Uh, we traded our Zubat and our uh, and our fucking Magic Heart for a uh, for a Bell Sprout. Uh, I think that Bell Sprout can r run this by me, uh, Julie Cat. Can um, Victory Bell turn into Wheatman Bell via Leaf Stone, or do you have to trade it? Is that one of those where like you can use a Leaf Stone to level it up or evolve it? Run that fact check for me, because I legit don't remember. I'm just going to heal up, because, you know, why not? And this also gives me the opportunity to level up Bellsprout as well. Um, I could bring him over to where the Sandrews are at and then just get those free kills. I could also do, like, the uh, training routes, but... It is Leafstone? Okay, I figured. Alright, so... A uh, Heart Assass still needs to level up, so we'll put him in. And we'll just buy the shit out of everything here. So wait, what route is this? Route 24. So now we can update our um, our tracker as well. Okay, so new Pokemon. This is uh, Bellsprout. And we named him Eccentric. He is level 12. On Route 22. Oh. Oh, look at that fucking art form. <laughs> Pretty cool. Alrighty. So let's do that. And then that... Oh, whoop. Forgot to click that. There you go. We also need this back up. There we go. Sorry about, like, the scatter. It just keeps, like, switching shit. If you have a Sun Summoner on your team, uh, if you have Sunny Day, it's GG. Summoner? Oh, like, Sunny Day? Well, what makes Sunny Day good for Bellsprout? Does it just up um, Grass-type moves? I thought that was only, like, Fire. Ooh, we could have gotten a Kakuna too. So I'm actually glad that we didn't get a Kakuna here. <laughs> it would have been great to have, uh, you know, Beedrill before, but you know, like I said, I'd rather just do it here. Oh, we could have gotten a Weedle here too. Okay. Uh, take a look at his ability. Okay, I'll take a look at it right now. Um, uh, raises speed in Sunshine. Oh, okay, okay. I can see that then. Yeah, his speed is ass. So, yeah. Rap, growth. Yeah. Fucking raising the SP attack stat. Fuck you. So, Vine Whip is special attack? Vine Whip is special attack, not physical? That's horseshit. I would assume that's like a physical because you're using like it's whip to hit it, you know? Take a look. Uh, and solar beam. Yeah, you're right. Forgot about solar beam. Yeah, that's true. Growth, solar beam with sunny day, and then I guess Giga Drain maybe? Wow, with the special. Wow. Yeah, no wonder fucking Magikarp died in an instant. That really fucking sucks. I thought that was physical. Whatever. Yeah, it is absolutely worth it to level up here. Heck, heck. <laughs> Way to go, heart. What's funny is that he, like, only has Peck for, like, his flying move for, like, forever. Like, I think the only way how he can get another one is to, like, have him teach, like, fly. But. 
Okay, so now we're gonna do a centric, but we're gonna uh, go to the sand trues and basically one shot those. Oh, damn it. Unless it's that. <laughs> I, can't, I can't really do much against that. Um, so let's get. Uh, let's go Ontario, so man. Still? Wow. Well, I guess quick attack doesn't matter because I'm pretty sure I outspeed all these things. Hell, if I was, um, if I was using Bellsprout, I would honestly want to just, like, use... Oh, you know what? Maybe with this I can take it out? Oh, it's outspeeding me, though, so... Oh, my fucking god! You have got to be kidding me with that crit. That's fucking horseshit. That is such horseshit. Wow. It didn't even gain a fucking level. I thought I still played that okay because, like, he only did, like, one fucking tail whip and, like, any attack probably wouldn't have killed. the quickest one it's been so far so all right what did we learn today just don't fucking just don't use them just don't use them like that uh, i i can't believe all my flying types are still living too like the oh my god i'm so fucking upset why am i here why i should just go train over there yeah, well, I don't know what I'm doing over here. Well, again, it took the first hit just fine. And it was, like, only, like, 11. So, it had, like, over, like, 28 more health. So, reason to think that a, a Tail Whip... Plus another one without critting would kill is not really that likely. But it crit, so can't anticipate that, so whatever. Uh is this area a new uh a new route? It is. Okay, well at least we can get something different again. Yeah, I got it like another 15 minutes. So you know what? Let, let's go see what this Pokemon is. And then I guess we'll come back. Let, let's actually get Ontario to the level 21st. And then... Well. I knew there was an Abra chance. Not like it matters because the Pokemon I just got here died. So at least if it was with Abra, I would know to not like keep him in because all he knows is teleport. So... Whirlwind. Uh, Whirlwind sucks, doesn't it? Made to switch out with an ally. Yeah, fuck all that shit. That sucks. I thought Whirlwind was like Twister, but it's not. Alright, uh, back to Mel, I guess. Switch that in. We got it already, so reroll. Roll. Metapod we have. Reroll.
Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <sighs> thank fucking Lord God. Who are you now? All you have is fucking teleport. <laughs> look at it, look at it. Oh, I love it. Teleport, yeah. Serious nature, I don't know what that means. Uh, synchronize, passes on status problems. What the fuck does that mean? Teleport, <laughs> fuck you. All right, attack, obviously, defense, obviously. Special defense, not good, but that special attack and that speed. All right. Kadabra, here we fucking go. Oh, let's add it to the tracker, by the way. Um, I think we're going to end it today on that note. Uh, let's see. Uh, where is it? New Pokemon. Abra. What is it? Level 9? CP3 Rosario. Level 9. What is that? Uh, Route 25? All right, well, I forgot to uh, change everybody else's stuff, so yeah, let me um, let me switch back and uh, make sure I have everything finite and save it, because I want to be sure I get it for next time. Um, Malizzi's at 18. Yeah, he is at level 18. Um... Zio is at level 18 as well. And he evolved, obviously, so. That's cool R for a War Turtle. Uh, Lena is at level 18 as well. I gotta do like this fucking level grinding uh, the next time. Uh, where is she? There we go. Level 18. Uh. Ontarioso, level 20. And of course, he evolved too, so let's evolve. Level 20. That's great art too. But man, they really do good with these uh, with these arts. And hardest ass I know is level 22. Okay. So here's our uh, here's our squad with three deaths. Uh, honestly, our rate our percentage wise is like. 70% uh, of our Pokemon are, are alive. So here's our here's our shit. War Turtle with Zeo Moon level 18. Hardest Ass at the highest level 22. Uh, Lena Troll being at 18. Butterfree. Um, Ontarioso level 20. Uh, Pidgeotto. Malizzi 18. Rattata. And CB3 Rosario level 9. We will get him up with grinding uh, next time. That's going to be what I'm going to focus on next time. Uh, you could trade it for a Mr. Mime. Fuck that noise. Uh, I will get Kadabra, 100%. Um, yeah, that I will for sure level that up because he definitely needs Psychic and all that other shit. So uh, this kind of replaces Lena Troll for like the Psychic moves. Uh, it's just like the, it just won't be able to take hits. It'll just be the Glass Cannon. Um, but I feel like with certain routes, I'll be able to be okay with having a Kadabra. No Alakazam because I can't trade. So that's out of the picture but Kadabra I feel like I could at least do some work with it too but I guess we'll have to like really play safe with him you know um yeah here we go <laughs> fucking hell all right three dead uh rest in peace liberal term salt dragon and eccentric 
really fucking fast that uh, we got Eccentric to die, like, in, like, the next battle, so. Alright, enough of this fucking music. Let me, uh, put this down and save it, so. Alright, uh, let me actually save it at the Pokemon Center. And then, uh, we're out of here. But, thanks guys for tuning in to the first part of my Nuzlocke run. Uh, I didn't expect to have this many fucking birds. <laughs> That's for sure. Nor did I expect this bad of a few deaths here, so... That just sucks. But at the end of the day, that's kind of what this uh, challenge is about. I do hope that I can complete this. Again, um, death is when we white out. So that is ultimately how we lose. So we shall see if we can get uh, we can get that going. Um, but yeah, real quick, shout outs to... Oh, I should, uh, I guess, save this thing, right? That's fine. Um, shout outs to uh, Mel for the resub earlier and... Uh, naps for following earlier i again not really sure how to really pronounce all of it but uh i appreciate you guys for the support and hopefully uh sorry about everyone that died uh it wasn't my fault for the most part i'm trying to keep this as uh as close to the wire as i can but i feel like now i shouldn't just for the sake of beating the challenge at least i learned the hard way early so i will try and do my best to play it safe from here on out and just make sure that we live and beat it because that's ultimately what the goal is so uh, next time we will be, uh, tre like level grinding to like get everybody to level 22, including Abra. That might take a little bit, but we will for sure go into Misty and we might be able to get Lieutenant Surge done, um, as well because we have the SSN to do. Well, actually, no, if we do the SSN, we might be able to end it there because we have the Diglett Cave too and that other route to the right. There's a lot of shit over there, so I don't know like how far we can do with the time eluded, but at the very least, Misty will get completed. And the SSN, that's for sure. So, uh, I don't know about, like, get, I have to get a Pokemon, uh, out of the grave to, like, do cut. So, like, if I have to do that, then we have to because of HMs. So, forgive me for that if we have to, like, bring a Pokemon back from the dead, uh, just to do, like, a fucking cut or something. So, it's just the nature of the game. Sometimes you just can't progress without having an HM, but it is what it is. It's not like we're going to use it. It's just more of, like, a utility, so... All right, that's going to do it for me, guys. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, tomorrow, uh, let me see what we have for our schedule. Uh, we will continue for Infamous Second Son tomorrow. Uh, we have Persona 5 Strikers on Friday. And uh, a couple guys that were in here, Liberal, Terminator, myself, Heart Assass, and Zio, will be doing a Mario Party 6 stream on Saturday. So I uh, hope you guys are uh, prepared for that. And yeah, that's it. I, I, I need a break from this fucking thing, dude. Ah, oh, this was rough. All right, guys. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in. And let's not tie next time, all right? Peace out, y'all. See you guys next time.